Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we are playing some 7800 games and one 2600 game, because I wanted to uh, include it for Thomas. Who's that? Who? A puppy? <laughs> There's no puppies here. <laughs> There's no puppies here. Um, yeah, today we are going to be playing... Uh, Blockum Sockum, the final binary that appears on the cartridge, which was just released last weekend. Uh, we'll talk more about that. Uh, that's by Daryl Genther um, and John Hancock, the immortal John Hancock. Uh, we're also going to be playing uh, a proof of concept of Phoenix for the 7800. An awesome shoot 'em up. Oh, the vacuum's going. Oh, yes. We didn't change the time on the vacuum. So it normally goes at 11, robot vacuum, and now it's going at noon. We were just discussing uh, the time change, so it's going to be thumping around upstairs. Uh, we're also going to be playing two baseball games. I thought computers were supposed to be better at I know. stuff. Than I have no thing. idea why it doesn't adjust. Maybe their servers <clears throat> are at a, a place that That's doesn't it cancel? adjust. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Which... Hmm, interesting. Uh, two baseball games by Steve Englehart. Uh, early works in progress, but we want to take a look at them. Um, and uh, we'll finish it off with Paddlefield, uh, previous known as Pong Wars, uh, by Thomas Yench. And uh, before we get into the games, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Who all of them. Support all of every single one of them, including... 8-Bit Poet, Al Nefer, Andrew Atari, Armscar, Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 74, Atari, Jatari, Smack Smooth, Beef Supreme, Beer Poke, Bruno Stacks, Just on Matt Charles, Will and Chitla, like Sierra and Reba, Dino, Drex, all. Dr. Mook, Cows, Emmy, Dan, Gamma, Dev, Gangsoft, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny, WC, Kabuto, Kenzo, Carl G, Caracat, Crocodoni, 600, Felt for Lambda Express, Mark. Oh, no, Mark Johannes, let's go back one. Mandy <coughs> Sipping Tea. That's a new one. Uh, Mark Space, Ink Metal, Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Cattell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Fix, Neomini, Nostalgic, Pseudographic, Coog, R. Entruitz, Rendered, Ghost Friends, V. Revan, Tully, Ricardo Pim, Rod Caster, Spendy V, Spicer, Spindly, Aster, Mirrors, D Train, TK Dan, KT, Fos Trek, MD, Tweeny, Vexor X, Vintage Gaming Memories, VR Gamer for Life, VVD, VVG Double Down, and X Can X. If you want your name, on that list, read out very quickly, you can just hit subscribe, um, just like Dan ABC and Al Nefer did just before the show. Or if you just want to know when we're on, hit follow. It'll pop up, maybe, if you have that set. Um, and you'll know when we're broadcasting live. If you're watching this later on YouTube, maybe you want to watch this live and uh, participate in the chat. Um, a poll question. We have a poll question. And let's start the poll question. There it is. Now, uh, what prompted this is that I noticed Darcy has his sounds on in his phone. And I don't have any sounds on my phone. And so the question is, do you have, I tried to word it, environmental and alert sounds turned on or off on your phone or computer? For like years and, and years <laughs> off. Yes. And then I've just had like, I've just had a terrible record for like actually noticing that my uh, phone has. That's the why. That's the why. And that's right. why I'm trying it with the boops back on. <laughs> Did you ever, ever have them on your computer? Because oh, yeah. for a while there was oh, yeah. like I remember ICQ. skins and things that you yeah. could uh, you maximize windows. It goes. Oh, I never had that. That kind of stuff. No, I didn't use Windows uh, background noises. I'm pretty sure I turned those off. Yeah. Right they away. got boring real quick. <laughs> they did. It's like, oh uh, my God, yeah. this again. Because you're constantly yeah. do maximizing, minimizing, opening. And it's like, oh, that's cool. Turn off. Because yeah. there were so many audio packs you could download for movies and video games and there things was a like that. There was a period of time when wave files were yes. like just all the rage. And we <laughs> were, were everywhere. We, and we'd make our own little dumb things. And I remember... Quotes from movies. I remember, yeah, lots of that. Specifically. Specifically like TV shows and movies and what have you. And yeah. uh, using those for messages uh, on like oh. ICQ yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and even when we got cell phones, like 
smartphones. Yeah. Ringtones. Ringtones. That's another example. There was ringtones were rage a big deal for a while. Twenty years ago yeah. in the two thousands. Yeah. Maybe around there. Yeah. That's that's when for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have no sounds on my phone whatsoever. No ringing. No text sounds. Nothing. Um, I think I had ICQ sounds for a while, but even then I turned them off pretty quick. I never had environmental sounds on my computer. Oh, just, just to listen to them. It's like, oh, that's cool. It's like, I don't want that sound going on my computer every time I open a window. I specifically remember having the sounds on with different alerts for, like, some people had a different alert. And I thought that oh. was pretty awesome. So I know oh. that it was so-and-so that is, or whatever. That is kind of cool. If you're yeah. waiting for somebody or it's somebody important. Yeah. Uh, Thrust wants to know where Drexel came from. I used it for games for, I don't know, it seemed like a long time, but I was young. So it probably was only a few years. <laughs> <laughs> like if you played a video game, that's the name I would type in. That's right. Because you had a different one before that that you used for video games. But what do you remember when the transition was? I'm, I am convinced that I, I don't the got the, I, that I was influenced from hearing Drexel probably in <laughs> True Romance. Romance. That's my, that's my, that's my best, that's the best that's a, guess I have. I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure it must have been that, though that it was wasn't 92. a conscious, it wasn't a conscious thing. I just started saying using Drexel so, and I had no idea where it came from. It was, so, I created this name. <laughs> did you watch it in the theater or after? I watched it so many times after that I really couldn't tell you if I saw, saw it in the theater or not. There's a good chance I right. saw it in the theater. So it came out in 92. So, so that... there's a good chance I didn't see it in the theater. Okay. Now that you say 92, yeah. So there, it might be almost... 93 and 94 when it came out on, because it took a long time back then to come out for video. Yeah, maybe I did see it in the theater. I really don't know. Yeah. Um, I feel like Pulp Fiction, which came out after True 94. Romance... Yeah. I feel like that is what got me on to watching those sorts of movies. But it's right. possible that I saw it in the theater. Written I, I by really the same know. person. Tarantino wrote both. Uh, also, 92, I was working at Madhouse. And okay. I was... Drexel was a little bit after that. Oh, okay. I think. I think. So yeah. probably 94. Yes. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. See, that's as much as mine does. That's, and I again, will have vibrate on. Like my phone having... you have typing so sounds on, too. Tick, 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 tick. And I have just vibrate. You do. Believe me. <laughs> Whatever you're typing on. Yeah. Well, you're swiping now. By but swipe. No, you were typing. You were tapping. Oh, I, I occasionally will type okay. a... Like a... If swipe fails me. <laughs> Which oh, was, 30 year anniversary know. of Drexel then. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. If it's 94. It's yep. Um, <laughs> I think mine stems from uh, something that I have to deal with, which is really annoying. It's called misophonia, if you've ever heard of that. Mm. Uh, it breaks down to hatred because <laughs> of sounds, <laughs> like literally yeah. misophonia. Yeah. Uh, let me just put it up on the screen. And I like this. I only discovered this like two years ago. Like it's, it's, it's well known now, a little bit more well known now what the term is. Um, but it's only been around since 2001, like the diagnosis or whatever it is, um, is a disorder of decreased tolerance to specific sounds or their associated stimuli or cues. Um, here's a big list. Uh, Usually related to the human body. Chewing, eating, smacking lips, slurping, coughing, throat clearing, <clears throat> sniffing, and swallowing. Uh, there's many, many, many more. Uh, those, those things, I can't say, like, it doesn't, it doesn't affect me super strongly. Yeah. But I can't say that I don't get it. Like, I, like, sometimes I'll hear somebody eating and I'm just like, no. Like, I don't <laughs> normally hear them. But when I right. do, then I'm just like. That's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> the chewing sound. And, and, there's, <laughs> and I almost never notice. But <laughs> and a lot of people like don't. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Um, and it's and it's not and it's not just like. There's more cheek up there. Tell us oh, more about old times, Grampy. 
whole time. <laughs> Back in my day. It's funny that you should mention the chewing sounds because sometimes it's Americans who I'm oh. hearing the chewing sounds from and I'm just like, I'm like, ugh. The turntables have turned. The turntables have <laughs> turned as they do because that's how they're made. Um, <laughs> and it's not just like, oh, I don't like that sound. Um, it It's right here. A fight or flight response. I literally have to leave the room sometimes uh, when I hear those types of sounds. And and I, I... This dates back to at least early 90s. I can't really remember it before. Because um, I used to have dogs a long time ago. And they'd be on the bed at night and they'd be licking forever. And it would just drive me up the wall like make me crazy like somebody's like stabbing my brain yeah yeah <laughs> um and so that i think that's a, why i don't have any sounds in my phone and it what also prompted me for this was yes a couple of days ago we were getting the car fixed because the rim got smashed up because we hit a, a pothole <clears throat> or something worse i don't know what it was i didn't even see it and we're at the mall waiting for them to get a quote or whatever. And um, and there was a guy next to us and he was watching things on his phone. And that's like a epidemic now of people just having videos playing on the bus, out in food courts, and they're just watching stuff on their phones. But do you... Out loud. Yeah, see, I actually... It, that's I find annoying it, to me, but I not find triggering. It, I find it rare. Oh, well, that's I find fairly it rare. Sorry, it's it's not rare to see people watching videos, but it's rare to have them listening to it loud. And whenever yeah. I do, I I judge them. <laughs> I'm like I'm them. like you are a certain kind of bad person. <laughs> like like you might be okay yes. on balance, but in this category, you're awful. <laughs> like how do you not know that that's rude? Like how do you not and, get it? And I think they justify it just like people justify speaking on their cell phones like this. I think when people it's do out that, loud. It's like, I think hi, people, how's it going? Yeah, I'm think, shopping right now. What do you that, need? I don't find that as offensive oh because because they're just they're just loud because they talk loud. It's a conversation. And they don't know. Yeah. And they can't do it without they can't talk to a person without it's like it is annoying and it's like Why obnoxious they when they're when they're What's like the when they're being loud on their phone in public and not Yeah. But it's not as bad as like loudly watching a video. Like you <laughs> yes. could have I don't know. Like, just get some headphones. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's better. It better sound, too. Like, oh, my God. Well, anyway. If, if Actually, it's... <laughs> it's it's like... Uh, if it's voices... Yeah. You, you almost need headphones to hear voices. Like, I can't... Like, an audiobook... Yeah. I, it is so easy for me to not be able to understand what somebody's saying when they're reading a book compared to music music like it almost doesn't matter how loud the outside experiences are what does that mean i know why darcy excuses <laughs> <laughs> mm. anyway this uh <laughs> this affects about 18 percent of people uh. and it's and it's beyond oh that's annoying it's like but also it's like it's a scale them. oh and it so is that, it's even that 18 percent some of them are going to be like losing their friggin' minds and some of them are going to be like oh like, uh, barely holding on to their minds <laughs> that's that's me i'm barely holding on to my mind yeah. um yeah i'm mild to medium there's people who have to ear wear earplugs like all day long because they hear everything but i always remember like in my car like in you know the early 90s i was annoyed by rattles like oh my god i have to fix that rattle in my car it's driving me crazy mm. and i and pss, 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 none of that no no he's about to chew the cable and he has done so before oh yeah he's just, we're on like our fourth marks in there. fourth 60 dollar <laughs> power supply for that laptop how much would it cost for a little chain mail sleeve for your power supply oh, would it be would less be than 60 dollars maybe i might have to look into that i <laughs> never thought of that because we've done things like uh put sour um no, um, bitter. Bitrex. Oh, but then yeah. it gets on our hands. Yeah. And it's like, Bleh. it's everywhere. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember thinking... And we put it on our thinking, chairs. Yeah. I remember thinking, why do my hands... <laughs> why does my mouth taste like bitter? But is there some sort of, like, perfume or something they're spraying on the blanket? or, or what? <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'm just being abused by these cats. That experiment failed so poorly. <laughs> 
so badly that that it wasn't bit... until you stopped doing it and oh. said oh we tried this thing that i was like oh that's what that was <laughs> shows you how much we touch our faces I know. and our mouths it's that, so bad that's that's also that's why i never oh met anything about it i was like well maybe i shouldn't be sticking my hands in my mouth all the time that's what i thought too as soon as i i was like i must stick by you know when especially during covid we're like oh my god i stick my hands in my mouth and my face constantly um, so an update on my game, because I'm going to annoy everyone about my game till I reveal it and then more afterward. Um, so I added some more stuff since the last show on the 12th. Uh, I fixed a movement issue that I saw that Tanya pointed out. Um, and I added a ball item um, to the kernel. It's not co not completely correct yet. It's it's uh, the kernel needs fixing, but it's there now and it's in the kernel. Um, and I also now detect collisions. Oh, I'll switch over to that. Collisions in my game. Nothing happens with the collisions, um, but I have them implemented. So that's the last thing I have worked on. And that was yesterday. So I'll do some more work this weekend. Um, I'm really enjoying programming. It's, it's really fun. I have not done it in decades <laughs> a yeah. long 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 time but it's um i found it actually pretty straightforward yeah. uh to program in um assembly for the 2600 i mean there's a lot of quirks and you have timing issues it's not like other systems where it's like no you can just here's your amount of time and it just slows down and gets crappy if you take longer this one it messes up the screen if you take too long mm. you dr you have to program while you draw the screen but that's like so it's very very interesting that's like a, like a non-bug feature because you're oh. getting like actual you, feedback oh you screwed up snap yeah as you, opposed to oh you screwed up we won't tell you how because our computer <laughs> is so fast that it will just <laughs> mostly overcome you get your, instant feedback failure, yeah. which is which is great and you're able to do like some cool tricks on the 2600 because you can manipulate the screen as it's going it's not, there's no screen buffer. You don't write to a buffer and then it goes Bleh! on the screen. It's you're altering it as it's drawing on the screen, which if you know how fast <laughs> TVs draw, it's, it's really quite crazy that, that it's doing it that fast. Yeah, building the bridge in front of you as you're driving on it. <laughs> yeah, if you've seen Wallace and Gromit, the, the uh, I can't remember the actual subtitle of it, where there, it's that penguin. It's, one, oh, yeah, it's yeah, the first yeah, big yeah. one, and he's putting the train tracks down, and Gromit's uh, putting train tracks down in front of him uh, as the train is going. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's like. It's exactly <laughs> like that. Um, but, oh my god, it's so much fun. So I will, uh, I predict, get it done in the next two weeks, something to show off. Uh, my to-do list is getting shorter. I just have playfield modification, and obviously better collisions as well. Animate the player and the enemy. Uh, the scoring and the sound. That's all that's left. I mean, those are big things, especially the playfield modification. Animating the player and enemy, that's nothing. You just point to different graphics in your code. It's like, oh, what frame are you on? Point to that one. What frame are you on? Point to that one. Hmm. Uh, scoring's not too bad. Sound, I've, I'll just be borrowing sounds <laughs> from, from uh, wherever. Yep. Uh, back to the last poll. Faster CPU would have helped too. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. It Which would have poll? We did a poll oh, okay. last show about what thing would have improved your ex the experience of programming or games on the 2600 the most. Mm. And there was um, more player characters, because it only has two. Right. Which would be a big benefit. Um being able to program the full play field because right now you have to program the first half of the play field and if you want it different on the second half you have to program it while it's drawing the first half mm. but not before it's finished drawing the first half because otherwise it'll display it there so it, it uses the same play field for the left and the right um better sound like actual notes oh, yeah, instead yeah. of random sounds <laughs> uh i can't remember what the other ones were in that some other, oh more ram but that was solved with later um cartridges that included ram like the starpath supercharger has 6k of ram and that only has 128 bytes of ram built in 
Um, there was another one as well. I can't remember. And then somebody suggested another thing that was really good. <clears throat> I can't remember what it was that would help out that I didn't include. But also faster CPU. Oh, um, more address lines. Because the 2600 only has 13 address lines, where you can address only 4K at once. And if you had all 16 address lines, you could address 64K at one chunk. So right now you can only look at 4K at a time in your code. You and you have to switch banks to another 4K. How much memory does it have? As much as you want, really. Because <laughs> the original one's only a 2K, and then they get 4 and they got to 8K cartridges. Oh, and it's because all the memory is on the cartridge. Yes. Okay. So well, you wrong. Could, so six... Let's say ROM. Okay, all RAM, the ROM. RAM is in okay. the system. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, higher play field resolution. So if you have a 64K ROM, then you... You have to go look at the 4K, then then trigger trigger something to flip to the next four. Um, so you can't just address anything you want. Okay. So if you're executing code okay. in one 4k you got to have like the graphics in that 4k as well and yeah anyway how it slows much, things down how lot. much does that um you have how to much use does the that discipline help with making your programming better or does it not help at all it really doesn't help it doesn't transfer because <laughs> because that that type of problem just doesn't exist anymore yeah. Whereas, like some things, like being efficient with your code, is still valuable no matter how fast your computer gets. T to a point, unless yeah. you have just tons of speed left over. Yeah. Mm. If it's still. Yes, they they reduce some of my browsing address lines. <laughs> they made a special chip for the twenty six hundred, the six five zero seven, based on the six five zero two, which had the sixteen address lines. Yeah. So that would have helped. Anyway, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, because <laughs> I could be very wrong on these statements. Um, what else? Um, I think that is it. Oh, no. Uh, the ABB UC 2024 has started. The um, contest... No, we don't need to translate it because there's English below. ABB UC Software Contest, which always produces absolutely amazing games out of it. And a lot of the, it's for 8-bit programmers, Atari 8-bit programmers. And so a lot of them wait till this software contest, because uh, it does have cash prizes, actually, um, to reveal uh, some of their games that they've been working on. So it has started. Um, and where is it? There we go. There are the rules. So if any 8-bit, there we go. Um, Smitty B, if you take all these ideas to the max, you get the Commodore Amiga. More player objects would mean less need to reuse objects during the visible screen though, so not always more CPU time for objects. Um, yeah, you still, like with the play field, you still have to s fill up the play field with data. And if you have four characters, you still have to provide the data for those four characters. So it still takes as long, but you just wouldn't get the flicker because you'd be able to display, say, four on the line instead of two. Uh, yeah, more playfield would have more cost effective. A sounds funny when you pronounce it like that. A B B U C. Abuck? Is that how you're supposed to say it? Abuck? Abuck? It's probably some, something like that. That's the problem with doing the show is with names of anything it's like you never hear them out loud um very often you'd have to listen to other streams i would and say have them that's how the show is a solution <laughs> it airs these things that are otherwise a book a book a yeah book. that makes sense yeah a book yeah uh, i mean book. i i'm yeah. That sounds I'm not like sure a, I would have said that, but I get how that's... It sounds like a non-English pronunciation of that. A book. A abuc. Abacus? Abic. How is abacus spelled? A-B-B-A-C? Yeah, I think it is. Um, so there are the rules. Uh, I posted the link in there. Everybody who is going to participate already knows where to find that. Um, where is the... Uh, amounts like it's quite you get hundreds of dollars for winning 
which is quite good. And I believe it's paid by this, their first place, 500 euros plus anything over the top. And it's a total of 2850 minimum um, for the whole, like I'm reading German there. It's totally useless for me. I'm like trying to translate where, where, there it is. First place, uh, 450 votes. Um, at least 2850 euros would be awarded. 850 would divided be the, for, between the first three places. And 2000 will be distributed amongst the proportion of the votes received. Um, and so 500 euros plus prize share votes. So you have to vote. And I think it's 1 to 10. 0 to 10. And then they add all those up, and it's a share of the votes that you get. It's very, very cool, and has amazing games come out of it. Absolutely amazing. And they usually like like that kind of stuff. The tapping. Tappity tap. Tappity tap. Yeah, I, I am the worst for that. I'm constantly, uh, constantly tapping, tapping away. I have always been constantly tapping. And I started playing drums, and then... Oh, boy, that's... And yeah. then uh, my friend Corey saw the drum set, and he just started laughing. He was like, <laughs> you should have gotten one of those, like, years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect for you. It's your outlet. Um, Tanya it has... slowed me down. Tanya though. has some things that I have to say, okay, that's enough. <laughs> well, mostly foot tapping with her. It's like, oh my god, that's so much, so much. Um, okay, I think we are ready to go with the first game. There she's left. I insulted him. Uh, block him, sock him. Um, and this uh, was passed over to me for, uh, by Daryl Genther. Oh, I think he's rescuing the vacuum. I think he got stuck. Um, and John Hancock um, just started selling this this past weekend at the SideQuest Expo. I uh, had 25 copies, 35. Did under you rescue your it? Credenza. Oh. I wonder if it's caught under there again. It's that's a forbidden zone for it. That's weird that it uh, got in there. It might have been scared. <laughs> From, yeah, it's, ah, I gotta hide. <laughs> <clears throat> and we did play this on uh, the Jaguar, but I think this is the first time we're playing it for the 7800. Um, so he released this uh, at SideQuest Expo, um, and it will be eventually available at Atari Age that you can see right here. Um, don't know when that will be, probably, probably in the fall when uh, Al releases most of the games usually unless he's got a summer one coming up but i know he's still quite busy um so let's start up the game here you go let's switch over so we can see and then switch over so they can see boom okay block em sock em load her up please Walk and sock. The Immortal Genesis. John, John Hancock. Based off the original Genesis version. There's many, many, very, many versions. 2600 port. Daryl Genther. 26th Street Arcade. So let's go to the instructions. So we're up to speed on everything. Star blocks can destroy any color blocks. They change to the color of the first block they hit. If all of the current color blocks are destroyed, your block will become a star block. Solid blocks can only destroy the same color blocks, but they swap color with a block in a run when a new color is hit. Okay. Out of moves. When there are not any valid moves, press down and the alt button, John will give up. So there's a way, I'm guessing that's the B button. When you give up or run out of tosses, the game ends. If you have enough points to buy a continue, you will pay with points to continue. Easy, 1,000, normal, 2,500, hard, 5,000. Okay. Uh, scoring, a block start at 15 points. They uh, double up in runs, up to 75 points per block to store. This means you uh, that how you play can affect your max score. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So you wanna do long runs of blocks. 
When audio, uh, Atari Vox is present, John will comment on your run. He may uh, let you know when you score a max combo. We'll reboot it and then plug it in the Atari Vox because right now it's on the 2600. Uh, note, note, note voices absence when using 7800 GD when with break menu enabled. Okay, we've got to make sure that break menu is disabled. Uh, scoring uh, com continued, 25th, 250 points are awarded for each remaining toss once the level is completed. Uh, so you want to leave with the most tosses. Another bonus is awarded if there are less than four blocks left after the level is cleared. I mean, you just do your best. Points grab. When John is running for the exit, you have unlimited throws if you clear the entire screen. Uh, it's worth 10,000. Oh, interesting. That's very interesting. Wow. Okay. Next page. Options menu of uh, selecting sound chip. We'll definitely be using Yamaha. Um, there's also TIA. There's no music. Another option is to toggle the background tune in game. Do we'll keep the music on. Okay. Playing the 7800 GD slowdown can sometimes be experienced when the break menu is enabled. We'll disable it. One option is turn off uh, show points and options. That's to make it better. Okay. Next. Uh, has safe key support. Atari Vox support. 7800 GD sports the concerto with CMO. I thought it said Sebeki. <laughs> Sebeki? Uh, Sebeki. It's Polish. Uh, concerto with uh, CM0, which is not publicly released, but I'm guessing some people have it for testing. That's uh, Concerto Module 0, which adds on extra support. Uh, and high score carts. Maintenance scores can be cleared from the option menu once they're cleared. This cannot be undone. We hope you enjoy. Block them, sock them. Okay, I'm going to uh, plug in okay. the Atari Vox. So we get the voice of John. So I've not heard that yet. Um, there, we go. there are two player games coming up. That's why I had the second player. Atari um, so Already. hand it over and I will um, turn off the brake on this game. You might have some slowdown if you don't change show points to off. Oh, okay. But that can be done at any time in the options menu. So break is enabled. So break disabled. And we will start the game. There you go. The Immortal Joan Hancock. The Immortal Joan Hancock. <laughs> nice. It's working. Okay, so let's go to the options. It already okay. says Yamaha, so... Oh, good. So just cycle through the Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Show points on or off? Um, no music. He says you might be okay with break Yamaha. off, so with menu, break menu off. So we'll leave the points on for now. So okay. it was Yamaha, yep. and no music, and TIA. It's okay, Yamaha. That's the best option. Return. And, um, okay, we have normal and hard and easy. Let's do easy first, so we can get through, through some levels. Okay. This is a star so block? You have a star block which can get anything. So if you threw that up there, it would go through all the green, but change to red, because that's the last block. Um, so great now you, job. Great job. So you get, that goes to purple. And now you have purple, which is good. And then you go do that purple. Stay purple. Stay purple, yep. And then if you go to that arrow, it don't want to work. No! Oh, you lost a throw. Okay. Okay. And it'll change to red. Combo. How many tosses do I got? Okay, I see. Five left. So you go green, and then do green, and it'll change to purple, which is good. And then you go to purple to yellow. And then yellow to green again. And then do green and green. Right. And then the game will end. It should. No, that's purple. Ah. No, I, it's not going back. Oh. Yeah, that is a... Oh, I need, to, okay, I need to open that up and fix that. Yep. And then you have one toss left, and I think that's enough to do it, because you want to end up with four. No, you're fine. There you go. You want four? Four minimum. Oh, so no bone. Sorry, it's four minimum what? To oh, you get have to, to the next level. So you're saying four what? Uh, four or less uh, left. blocks left. Okay. Yeah. 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 And you see, your goal is at the top. Goal is four. 
so. But you have 36 left. If I do... Throw, okay. Oh, throw as you're leaving the level. Yeah, we forgot about that. Oh, right. Yeah, it does does look really good, Daryl. Uh, no, do that line of green first. Because you already have the green. There we go. Now you can either change to green, which you don't want. But okay. I can do purple. It's perfect. Yep. Oh, they are. And you can get that right. full line of purple. And now it's a star, because all the purple's Ooh. gone. I would do the... You've got red and yellow to choose from. I've got four left. Definitely do... Okay, so if I do this red... It'll change to red. It'll change to red. Then I do those red, then it turns back to a star. Oh, yes. Perfect. Then you can go after the yellow. Two I only have two. You've got two oh. tosses left, which is great. I only have two tosses, so... Do the two yellows, then the other like... two yellows. Oh. oh, it says I have one toss left. But you get bonus, because you met the minimum. Oh, so it ends as soon as you... Okay. Yeah. And there's bonus for throwing while you exit the screen. Which I didn't so do because I was taken by surprise! <laughs> so was I. Um, so really you want to end on the most leftmost space if you can. Because then you can go throw, 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 throw all the way around. Hi. Hi. Okay, so if I do... Okay, so I'll do... Yes, this, and the red. And then we'll I'll do the red. And then the green, if I do... I, I feel like I was going to do yellow next. Why, though? Now it's like constant switching. So yellow to purple. Like, you have to find a good order. Okay, if there's I a do... Red, you've got two options. Yeah. Change to red or change to yellow. I'm going to turn to... I'm going to do this. Like... And then I'm going to do this. Like, now nice. I'm going to do this. Yep. And then I'm going to do yep. this. Like, nice. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get rid of that last. Oh, but I can get... Okay. Oh, uh, yep. You can do the red one. And then... And then it'll go to... Won't go to a star. A star. Yeah, because all the reds will be gone. Oh, there's one up there! Oh, no! Well, okay, you can do well, that, do that first. You've got a lot of tosses left. It should be enough. I have 17 left. Oh, but Let's they turned that one red. Okay, yeah, I'm dumb. I don't know what I'm doing yet, apparently. <laughs> That's okay. Like... Oh, and we have altered the um, treat ball like... and are trying to turn it into a game. So we have, if anybody wants to trigger the treat ball after this game, we have a box for the treat ball. And we tried it out yesterday off camera and the ball stayed in the box. Atari uh, dominated getting the treats. Um, so we're gonna see how the treats play out between Sprite and Atari and see what kind of over under there is. So you got eight tosses left and Lots of, uh, there we go. Yeah. yeah, you have tons of tosses left. Of course we're playing on easy. Don't. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good for learning. Oh, toss. Yeah, and toss again. Nice. Woo. Yeah. If I if, you get a huge bonus and, and for so you want So you want to clear the far side. Yes. Because if you clear it all, you get a massive bonus. Yeah. You get 10,000 for clearing the whole thing. New cat race with treat ball. Yes. Yep. There's a new competition. So if you do the green. I go purple. If you go green, then you go purple. Then you go over here, it turns to yellow, and then you can do the yellow one. Oh, which sure. will turn it red, then you can do the red one. I don't know. Red. It turns it red. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm probably missing something. Uh, no. I mean, it's, it's oh, good. Wait. Oh, no. That'll turn I can green. turn it to green, which that'll... is fine. There's... Yeah, and then it'll oh, I then you'll leave get that, that last green. I want to leave that green to last. No. Oh, I see. Uh, but then don't uh, do this one. Ooh. Because you need yellow. that green to be second last. Oh, yeah. 
I think you're good here. Do that. It changes to yellow, but there's no yellow. What happens then? Then you can hit that yellow. There's only oh, because one then yellow. it'll be red. It won't turn to yellow if that turns red. Because it'll no longer be yellow and then you'll have a star. Just do it and find out. Worst that happens is <laughs> we. Oh, but see, there's... it's a star. Oh, okay. Now do that red one at the top. Right. Right. Uh. Wait. Uh. Yeah, do the red one. Do the red one at the top. Yep. And now do the other red one. Yeah. Wait. 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 No. Uh. Uh, we want to bet it, change it into a betting thing. Well, this is... I have to do this. I'm going to waste a toss if I don't do this. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, we are trying to optimize it for leaving the screen. But, yeah. I don't think that's gonna happen. but uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, should I do the red? And then yeah. I'll still have a star. Yeah. Yep. And now you get all those, and now you if have... If I do this first, I will clear the screen. That's right. And uh, will you still get the bonus if you cleared the screen before? Maybe. I thought you had to clear it at the end. That's why I was going to say oh, this one first. I think we'll you, find out. I think you get it. Well, we'll find out. You're at 9,000 now, and do you get a 10,000 I mean, no, bonus? No. I mean, no toss bonus. But you there we get, go. There you go. 10,000 10, bonus. Okay, yeah. so you do get Which it. Which you more than doubled your score. <laughs> yeah wow the big bonus is really really good and i bet there's a way to do that on every level like clear Probably. it completely i mean if the levels aren't random i would yeah they're not there's a good chance daryl is there a way to clear every single board at least on easy maybe on hard you can't do that and you have to use the tosses uh, do the yellow one like this this yellow yeah change to red yeah and then go. go to red. No, this oh, red? I don't. I, mean, I think green this or one. Purple. Yeah, do this one. Yeah. And then now Change that green one. one. Change the yellow. Yeah. I I can just go back and forth between the green and the yellow. But you kind of want to finish with. Actually, you yeah you want to clear these. Yeah. And then I, I mean you you don't have enough. Uh, Change the yellow, which will then give me a star. Which I can use for anything. Uh, wait. That red one. And it'll stay red. And then you do Ooh, that one and it'll give you Do I have enough purple. tosses? You don't to do everything anyways. No. But you get free tosses at the end. Sure. And so you want to clear this side first. Right. Okay, but just a sec. When you do this... <laughs> it'll be over. It'll be over, so you have to be ready to throw the last two. The red and then the green. And... Okay. and uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> So yeah, no, I, I saw I saw the error, but it was too late because when you threw it, it was going to make two colors there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think you can only toss once per spot because I tried to press twice. Yeah, that's and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, Daryl says I can clear almost every board on normal. It might be possible for more on easy. And also, more than every board. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can do double double throw. I was just going to oh, ask that. Almost. You can do double throw. Okay. Uh, I see. Uh, so this is a nice long one, and it'll clear out for a red. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely you with yellow. First. Yeah. It's possible. Excellent throw. Actually, yeah, you you that whole. Now go get the top one. Yes. There, yeah. And now that other top one, yeah. This one looks a little bit harder. I want a green next. Uh, no. Oh. Yeah. Don't I want to clear that? Or I want to, uh... Oh, I see. Uh, well, I could do this, yeah, and then, then this. Yeah. Then and this. That. that seems so inefficient. Uh... Now get rid of the yellow and the red. Yeah. Only one oh, you only one more toss. So, <laughs> do, uh, no. Uh, just a sec. I will fail if I do that. No, because then... Oh, do you fail or do you run off the map and get a chance to throw for free? No, nope, because my goal is four and I didn't get it to four. Okay, then but you I have, have to, to do one. this. But I'm now run to... over here as soon as you throw it. Can <laughs> you, you can't do that? Do try that. Press, press, just you try can't. Go, run, run. He's done. James, run. I can't. Run. All I can run, do James. is throw. <laughs> Let me try and do a double throw. Let me try and do a double throw. No, 
I, I couldn't do a double throw. You have to double throw to clear level one. Oh, okay. Okay, <clears throat> your turn. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, it's all, ooh. All yellows and greens. Double throw is right when it hits his waist. Okay, okay. There is a very challenging timing. Sounds like he's saying Mexican throw. Mexican throw. Gonna have to switch to egg. Excellent sounds like excellent, but, but mex excellent throw sounds like Mexican throw. Yeah. But excellent on that's really weird. Or is he saying something else? He's saying something else. Next, next, next throw? Excellent sounds perfect. Yes. Yeah. yeah perfect. You'll get rid of oh, you won't get rid of all the things. You have one green left. Oh, damn it. Five tosses. One, two, three. Okay. So one. Definitely that one. Or no, no, no. You don't want to do. Let's say one. Two, two, three. Well, if, if you throw on that one with the arrow, it's going to go over and change to green. So you want to do that one last. So one, two, three. So if I do one, two, three. You can clear this. Yep. Yep. You this can. one. Yep. And don't do the one with the arrow yet. Nice. Uh, no, 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 not that one. Yeah. Yeah? Because, uh, because it's hardest to get. Okay, just a sec here. Because you we can clear that one at the end by just tossing one up. If, yeah, yeah, one per row. So I've got four left. Two, one, two, three. three. Oh, you have enough tosses, actually, to, to clear that one you're under. Yep. <laughs> Lol, I never claimed to be an Atari Vox expert, but I do not want to get sent to HR. <laughs> I don't know. HR. I might get sent to HR for that one. Okay, so it's that'll, four cubes? I wouldn't do that one. Because that'll change it to green. Yeah, do that one first. Yeah. And you'll, and then you'll be here. Clear. You're cleared. Oh, oh you're I not forgot. Cleared. I, no, it's because I pressed. <laughs> Every time I go, I think press push up oh, to shoot, yeah. and I just push up instead of pressing the button. Well, you got a good bonus. Oh! 5,000. So glad you have a compressor on the microphone. <laughs> yeah, everybody is. <laughs> Especially Thomas. <laughs> he was the most vocal about that. Yeah, I did it right there. Like, it just doesn't cost as much. <laughs> no, there are all the greens. Excellent. Get a star. Uh, okay, so pur purple's do... good. That's a nice clear. And then you change to yellow. Then you change to red. Then you do red. Excellent. You got lots of tosses. Now. Oh, it, yeah, it leaves the purple. I that. But you can get it after you That's the thing get the under the, under the red. Like. And then it'll change to purple. Now, oh, toss, toss. Yay! Oh, why didn't it work? Because it's purple? I thought it just destroyed oh, everything. Oh, it makes sense that, yeah. Oh. It's a free throw, but it's not it's break not the rules free. Only I if guess. you have a star. Yeah. That's why I could clear. So if you have a star, you can destroy. Does it switch? I think it will. I, I imagine it still uses the same rules. Yeah, because 10,000 points is a lot of points. That's true. You like, can't just give it away. Like yeah, it's still a quarter of all the points was from that 10,000 points you got. So, uh, Daryl, when you're running off the screen, are the same rules still applying? Like, if does it switch every time? Yeah, same. Oh, okay. That makes it very tricky. 
Okay. So I want to clear this out, this yellow row, because it blocks so many things. So I think yellow is the best choice here. Because then it allows for like that green to be active. Um, but I want to clear yet. this out. This green. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, I think that you were right there. And probably this one next? No, 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 no. Because you get rid of this, and then when you go back to green, it'll clear out more of them. Oh, right. Like green. that, then that, then I can clear out all the green. Well, I could have got rid of that red one. Yeah. And I definitely did this one. That's okay. We forgive you that. Mexican throw. That's <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like. Like, now you can go back to the far. No, so it worked yeah. out. It's probably fine. It's probably it's fine. Prob we're probably fine. <laughs> we won't die. Great job. Great job. Great job. Um, it is funny how often I forget that clearing out the last one doesn't clear out the last one because it creates one. That <laughs> yes, I keep forgetting that yeah. too. Um, I don't want to change to red yet. So I'll get all these yellows. Esther is watching the stream with my wife and younger son, home from college for spring break. Day one purchase for me and the family. This is an excellent puzzle game. Yeah, I like it. And especially with the difficulty levels, like it, I'm sure it just reduces the tosses down. So you have to try and do it. This is going to change to red. Oh, oh and I could have got that red. Damn it, I didn't count them. Yeah. Yeah, that got me too. You got to yeah. you got to keep you got to keep track that once you're down to 4. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do one more. This is the last one. Uh, uh purple. purple, I think. Yeah. That'll clear out a lot. Yeah, you have to think in layers now. Yeah, and then it lets you do the green over there and get the yellow to do this one here, which you have to clear out to do yes. anything. Yeah. And then it lets you do red and right, and then purple. It's like I think this is like a teaching level because it it's, is. It's really very mapped out. <laughs> and then obviously this. Oh, you. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you're doing your stretching exercises? Yes, yeah, good kitty. Okay, now we have to kind of count. Obviously, purple. That'll give me a star. Wait, this is going to give you nope. four. Uh, it stays a star. Oh, because that was the last one. Oh, I didn't quite count yeah. it out. Yeah. 5,000 points. So you get bonuses for one block left. Press Alt down when you're done to end the game. Oh, okay. Okay. Next game. Oh, and you get to put your score in, even though you didn't die yet. So if you're like, oh, that's good enough. Yeah, that's, oh, that's cool. awesome. Oh, there we go. I mean, it's a joint effort, but, but I'll put ZPH because that actually works. <laughs> it's a ZPH effort. Go stored forever. Forever. Excellent, super fun game. Great job, Daryl. Yeah, this is very very slick presentation. Really really nice. Uh, okay, let's uh, see if anybody wants to trigger the treat ball, and we'll see how the game goes. And it's not really a game first. Oh, the cat got excited. Unleash the treat ball. Why didn't it say anything? Oh, I will trigger it. It needs to update. Oh, I hate when that... I don't notice that the program that does the sound needs an update. It just sits there on the screen, but I will... Um, I will trigger it manually. So we still get the sound, so the cats still get excited. How do you trigger it manually? Um, I just go into the program and, and use the test ah. test for the sound. Okay. Load up. Come on. Load your stuff. 
Thank you, ITC. The cats will appreciate it. Oh, if you want to get... Oh, actually, wait for the, wait for the sound. And then... Um... Warning. 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 Oh, yeah. The treat ball is loose. There we go, kitties. Look at this. It's the treat ball box. There we go. And put about... Um... Well, this is just a test, so you can put in a bunch. But ideally, if we were going to go to 10, we would have to put in 19 of them. So how many were we putting in then? Uh, I don't know, 15, something like that, around that. Yeah, the cats are very excited. They're all up. They're all up in our business. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. That was awesome. He stuck his hand right in there. Which is what I would do. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where the treats are. <laughs> Okay, kitties. Uh, oh, I that's a this. difficult. I, I moved it trying to get it open, oh, okay. so I didn't mean that's to That's reasonable. Like, it's not super easy, but it's, it's not super hard. It's set to reasonable. It's set to Just reasonable so level. Know. And... Ready? The puck will drop. Go! Go, kitties! And Atari's right in there. He knows... Both cats know how to do this. Oh, and Atari's got one leaving, and he does leave the arena. So that might even it out. Because Sprite is um, quite timid with it. Atari's got two. Oh, Sprite's got one. Two came out, so it's two to one. Let me just take score of this. Actually, we'll do a fake score. So it's two to one. You keep watching. I have to set something up. Uh, that's three for... Oh, and uh, Sprite got one, so that's three, two. Three, two. Okay. Four two. Four two. Okay. Oh, four three. There we go. Now I've got it up. Did he get one? No. I've 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 got it up. It's okay. Okay. You just have to. We just have to watch. So it's pretty even. Five three. Oh, yep. Yeah. It leaves room for Sprite. So in this case, leaving the box area is fine. As opposed well, to the it's bell. it's a bad strategy. It's a terrible strategy. <laughs> but he doesn't know he's trying to win. <laughs> he just... Well, he kind of does. He, he kind of wants as many treats as possible. He doesn't know that's a bad tactic for getting treats. Yeah. Because you can you can monopolize the ball. Treat time costs 5,000. Maybe 17 treats on average. 10 for 2,000 is a bargain. <laughs> because <laughs> I may have to change the over under for this but so far it's not bad that's another one for Atari so that's 7-3 need a larger box yeah this one's a bit small a, a bigger box would be better Four. oh, oh, oh he two. just got two <laughs> what? He, he, Sprite that... you're not even playing so it's get in there get in the game the coach says get in the game uh, it's not cheating because nobody's betting yet. <laughs> no. It does seem like this is feed Atari <laughs> treats time. And it Sprite does. is like, I don't understand. So we're at 10, so Atari would have won. Oh, yeah, get in the box. Got to bat it around. So timid with this game. Bat it around. Atari is like, He's, this is my game. I'm, I'm all about this game. <laughs> This is, I know about this game. Oh, oh, got another one. So oh, he didn't leave the box. 11-3. Wow, that's, that's big. I may have to put the point spread quite a bit, like a five plus or something. That's already ball tending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're done? All done. Good job, kitties. Oh. I think we can make this into Either a game. Either we didn't count or I failed to put in the number I thought I put in. Yeah, well, we'll we'll count it because I didn't have the the score up. Oh, it reminds me of Electro Ball twenty six hundred. Maybe we can name it kind of that Electro Cat Ball because there's no electricity, so that doesn't quite work. Treat Ball is pretty good, pretty good. Name. So was that fun? Was that fun? What what do people think? Separate balls and boxes. That's that's oh. not a bad idea at all. That's a really oh, good idea. That's actually. a really good idea. Yeah, that would solve that would solve part of the problem. 
and then it would come down to and also you could do it for a while and and then stop doing it if it isn't interesting but it will be yeah. interesting it's for a true. while yeah when we don't know what's going to happen it's interesting right? <laughs> yeah we have no idea yeah but i two... think two ball two balls two boxes is really good it's a really good idea i'll buy another ball and the question is do, does the wall between them <laughs> or one big box and two balls <gasps> that ooh. well we can experiment we can and if experiment. you make it so that the balls so that there's like <laughs> like three or four low points and the balls <laughs> can be in separate spots and oh boy we're getting need fixing needs fixing before we do yeah we're doing just testing right now but the cats appreciate the treats not nonetheless they're very happy about that Oh, Sprite's looking for <laughs> treats. So I think definitely a bigger box. For sure. About yeah. twice as wide. Like, like, oh, sorry. Like maybe like that big, like a twice, twice the width. I think the length is good because we need some room for our feet, but something a little bit bigger. We usually don't get boxes that big though. We'll see. Okay. Perhaps so the box is taking up a little less than a little more than a quarter of the width. Yeah. And I think up to here. It could be is good. It could be up to 50% because right now both cats It could be it could be like 2 to 3 times wider and 50% <laughs> I'm, I'm talking on the outside. Oh, on the outside. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't want it you wouldn't want it bigger than that is what I'm saying. No. Uh, but I think this can be made into can you a hand game. Me the box? Yeah, it can definitely be made into a game. I'm I'm very happy with how that went. What are you doing? Are you measuring? <laughs> Eighteen by fourteen. So if it was uh, using inches, terrible. We do sometimes measure in inches. It's that's just this is just both. convenient. So thirty six by forty six. Thirty six by forty six centimeters. Yep. Game designers at work. Yeah, real life So it could games. be like 60 centimeters. This is the exact right crowd to to try and plan a cat game. <laughs> Wait, does Darcy keep a tape measure on him at all times like I do with my with my wallet? I do. Darcy, you do? A tape measure? Yeah. Oh my god. What 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 in your life? Tell me give me a a list of five things that you measure. Uh, so in your life that you need a tape measure for in your pocket at all times. So when we're doing renovations, it's very helpful for uh, that. Okay, you're doing. But also too. that was boat? in general, uh, uh, 3D printing stuff. So oh. if I'm like, oh, what size is this thing? Can I fit it on? Blah blah blah. It's it's like that. Yeah. Put it a bit more that way. Can't quite see it. There you go. <laughs> 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 that's hilarious <laughs> my mobile can do that for me oh a tape measure on a on a phone and to play with cats there's one more use there you go <laughs> okay next uh next game anyway, is so... phoenix now this is a proof of concept um that we are going to take a look at next from revenge uh, who got a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Atari Homebrew Awards. Okay, so let's switch over. If you want to... Uh... There she's busy. busy. Doing calculations. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's load this up. Actually, before we load it up, we're going to take a look at the arcade version and the 2600 version of Works With Angles. Ah, interesting. So here's the arcade version of Phoenix. I have actually never played this in the arcade. But obviously it looks right up my alley. Because it's a shooter. And I played it a lot on the 2600, of course. Well, on the 2600, they don't go along the bottom and s do tumbles. Wow. Very cool. Let's just. That uh, planet had oh, uh, cool. intersecting rings. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's go to this 
level here with the boss. See how it is different from the 2600 version. Um, oh. Nothing different except except the the diving enemies are on this, and the 2600 is just the ship and the bullets coming down. Wow. Thank you very much, Mother 3. Wow, the, the uh... Oh, it comes The down. armor on this is very cool. Oh, the rotating? Yes. Yeah, it's both. It's got, like, the thick, you know, armor, armor, and then it's got the rotating... Yeah, super clever. Yeah. So what I usually do, at least on the 2600 version, is sit way off to the side and destroy it like that. And I yeah. just sit and destroy as much of the rotating, because you need a big amount open... And then I move to the center and shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's the same tactic. Oh my god, that's brutal! How close it is. Yeah. I mean, he's taking forever. And, 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 and the, the array of bullets that drops down when you go underneath. Yeah. Okay, it's open. You know, you Do know. it. Get in there. Shoot him. What? It's getting... His point's coming. Okay. Is that wrong? Uh, no. Fuel and points. Yeah. I mean, you're risking dying, so it's it's... So, very cool. Oh my god, that's awesome. So, I have never played the arcade version. And so we'll take a look at the uh, 2600 version next. So it's got the same... Like, similar enemies mm -hmm. um, to the first level. And then... There's the second level. And then it has the same type of birds. We didn't actually look at that in the arcade very long, but it's got those diving birds. I these love birds the graphics that on have regrowing wings? Yeah. So you have to shoot them in the center. When I mean, you can point scum on this and just keep shooting their wings. <laughs> super, super cool. Oh, I bet. Oh. What? Where's the boss? Oh my god. Why did I pick this video? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, a long play. Perfect. That's what we want. Oh, this is much louder. My ears. Okay. Where's the boss? So it's pretty much, like, this is a very good game for the 2600. So it has the same shield, the same rotating shield, and it lowers as well. They did a great job on it. And the colors are really good, too. But it's way, way, way easier. We were we were born in the 70s, yeah. Yep, yeah, we were. Early 70s. It's fine line who crew up with the Atari 2600. Who, oh, we're, we're both... C64 people, actually, as well. Because um, we both had Commodore 64s. And amazingly enough, this game was only for the 2600. There was no other licensed version of this game on any platform. Huh. There, there were lots of unlicensed ones, but no actual licensed ones. Okay, let's go back to this. And if you could... Uh, load it up. This was posted um, a couple days ago, I think. And I was like, oh my god, yeah, this is going on the next show. 100%. Uh, this was posted on March... Oh, not a little while ago. March 9th. So, six days ago. Almost a week ago. There's a star field. Some planets. So it's got sound. I don't think these dive. I didn't play it for very long, so I like to keep my reactions for the show as much as possible. There's just kicking ass against the foes that have no <laughs> offense. You could have defense. stopped at Darcy's kicking ass. Darcy's didn't have kicking to ass. <laughs> Darcy's kicking ass on the easier than it should be. Uh... Here's the qualifier, though. <laughs> um. Well, you oh. can. Oh, you can how many shots? Too. Try three. Oh, you've lost your double shot. Oh, weird. That's interesting. 
Um, try shield, because there is a shield. Try down. Oh, he's implemented shield, too. Wow. It's a proof of concept quite, quite advanced, actually. I mean, they're not diving, which is quite complicated to do the patterns of diving. And, and there's no bullets as well that they're shooting. I wonder if he implemented the um, the boss. That's very See, got, different. I'm or, getting double bullets now. Weird. Hmm. And it doesn't look like he's implemented the but not uh, now. second type of enemy as well. <laughs> Daryl says, you don't need the shield, but they are present. <clears throat> I'm winning! <clears throat> You're kicking ass! So he says, um... I feel like by... this uh, easy level of the game allowed me to learn something. What's that? Um, the, like, they're moving at a steady rate, so mm. if I shoot and I move ahead a bit, then I can... Yes. It's also useful in um, Space Invaders, too. Yeah. But that's what I mean, like, <clears throat> it's a lesson I never learned before. <laughs> <laughs> so when Sometimes it... it takes me a long time to learn really easy stuff. The sounds, sprite, animation, and explosions all look awesome. Yes, it's all really, really good. So when he posted, he says, I wrote a proof of concept a while back. I need to get back to it and turn it into a real game rather than just this display test. But all the enemies so use... These guys are coming back. 320C, so the very detailed. These guys are coming back. Oh, two shots. No, I mean, they die and then they come back. Really? Yeah. Is that supposed to be like the equivalent of the birds? Like maybe I hit them. Oh, like, maybe. maybe I didn't hit them in the center. That could be a like early testing. Hmm. Is there an easy mode too? This is the easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is this is great. I really hope revenge uh, continues on. I'm getting double this. bullets with the uh, purple and yellow. Oh, but not the other ones. Interesting. I wonder how that translates to the arcade game. Hmm. But not with this. Okay. Interesting. So that, I think we've uh, finally a game that matches my skill level, Carl Jesus. Nice. Okay, I think we've uh, run through that. Proof of concept. Ready. Uh, we'll go to the next one, which is Atarius Maximus's game, Home Run Baseball. Actually, we have to show something before. Nope. Nope. Not yet. I have to show something beforehand because this is based off of Home Run for the 2600. So, let's see. Ah. YouTube. Like in Princess Bride. What? Isn't that what he's playing at the beginning of Princess Bride? Is he playing a 2600? Somebody will. Not 2600. Yeah. I thought you, oh, for, for some reason, I thought you said Commodore. I don't oh, know why. Oh, no. Is I, he you, playing a you Commodore? You obviously didn't. I I think he was playing baseball Commodore. Uh, which one? Was it Hardball? Yes. <laughs> Hardball's awesome. I don't know. I had like a diamond and the people were... <laughs> uh, it says uh, so Atari's Maximus posted this on March 13th uh, this game was designed to be similar to Home Run for the 2600 it's not exactly the same uh, same, but it's pretty close why clone a game that was mostly unloved That's a, it's a cool simple baseball game I played the two player version of this uh, game so much with my dad as a kid and we loved it so much fun so many memories it makes me smile just seeing it on the screen I haven't played it enough to make sure everything is perfect. I know the sound Nine. effects need work, but the game is perfectly playable as now. You can play against a computer or start a two-player game, which we are going to do. So I need to unplug the uh, Atari box. This was a fun side project I started with a few weeks ago as I was also finishing up with Drone Patrol. I may work on this some more as time goes on, but I thought it would be fun to share it in its current state. So this is the 2600 version. It's a very competent baseball, very simplistic. Okay. Let's switch over, and I'm going to plug in the second controller so we can play two-player. What does ITC say? About the C64? Uh, just looked, and I think it's hardball on the C64 using a 2600-type controller. Okay, so you kind of mixed up the, the controller and the C64, so you got both right. 
It was a 20, 2600 controller and a C64. Well, I thought it was a C64. That's what I mm. recall. I don't even know why, because I don't like know the game very well or anything. But I do remember it. Right. Hardball's awesome. It's so good. This one? Uh, Home yeah. Run Baseball. Home Run Baseball. Oh, nobody can see. One second. No. no That's a cool no. screen. There we go. Yes, very nice. Home Run Baseball. So let's just jump into two players. So as we saw, so who is, I think I'm pitching and you're batting. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you move the ball or does it just wiggle on its own? Um, I am able to uh, pick what type of throw. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm also able to affect... Do you have to go... <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you think... couldn't see that, but I was doing special codes... <laughs> below um, the like rude special codes like they do in baseball so rude <laughs> <laughs> touching their crotch um i think i can throw a a slow a fast left right i think okay oh taris maximus is in the chat okay you ready mm -hmm. i'm just gonna press the button to throw oh i'm so happy i don't have to run i don't think i can go to bases I couldn't move. Hmm. Try it again. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to move the ball. <laughs> ha ha ha. Oh, it's getting wise. Getting wise to my tactics. Oh, oops. Threw it too early. So how do you, how do I get you out? No, you don't no no, you don't get to know. I don't move I can't move around. <laughs> You can move the pitch left and right after it's pitched. That's that's it. I don't think I put in a fastball or changeup. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I haven't played um, the 2600 version a long time. Can you not run and get players out? Or is it only getting them out with strikes? Oh. 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 Can I hit you in the head? <laughs> Hit by pitch! So that works. Oh. Damn it. Oh, home run! No! Oh, bases are loaded! Oh, no. <laughs> now you still get to bat. Oh, my God. I haven't got anyone out yet. No! Ooh, that was a strike? Yeah. Oh. It seemed like it went over the plate. I don't I don't know why I didn't hit it there. I don't know either. It's like I, I feel like the bat is touching the ball, but it's not doing the final places. One out. Oh my god. Oh, thanks. So I never test two player version on real hardware, just with the keyboard and still yes, you should be able to move the defenders. Oh my god. Probably assigned the wrong joystick in the code. Okay, you I'm try to move, move my joystick after, after you I hit, hit it. it. Yeah. Oh no! Get yourself out, quick! Nope. <laughs> so that is it. Okay, we're gonna switch to the one-player version after this because obviously that's not gonna work at all. <laughs> oh, can I get Darcy out? I'm getting a bit better at pitching. Yay! See, I'm not sure what's going on there. Like, if I didn't swing, it would have been a strike. I think but I did swing, and the bat was swung through the ball, but yep. it wasn't a hit. And so I don't know what's happening. Uh, I think it's timing. Like, you have to hit it. Your bat has to be perpendicular. Da, da, da. Oh. Home run! Okay, we're going to switch over to um, single player because... Oh, you won't hit the ball every time. Okay. Oh, so there's some randomness to it. Okay, so uh, load it up again and pick single player so that we can uh, use the outfield. So as you saw, it is a 128k game. So are you batting first? No. Yeah, you are batting first. Oh my god. 
That would have made it a lot easier for me then to get you out if I could actually get the ball. Whoa, deadly, deadly. Daryl says, this makes me smile. Great homage. Yes, we need more uh, hockey and baseball games. Oh, oh, you got, you got him. Nice, just in time. Why is he batting so weird? Punch him! Kick him! Kick him! Attack! Attack! <laughs> you can hit to left or right field by timing your swing. Oh, oh not quite. That's a weird batting that he's doing. Do, 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 do. Get him! Oh, you have to touch him with the guy who has the ball. So I got one out. Uh, two outs. Two, two outs. outs now. Yeah. And he hasn't uh, scored yet. So. Bunt. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, bases are loaded. Watch out. Hit by pitch. Are you blue? Yep. Okay. You got hit in the head. Oh, that's way out. Slow ball. Wait, wait. How does it slowly swing the bat like it was doing? I don't know. Maybe you can, like, tap it instead of holding it. Oh, third base. Oh, nice. Got to run. <laughs> All right. I don't know how he's doing the slow. Is that just a thing a computer can do? Oh, oh, you got both. Nice. 400 yards. That's huge. Typical markers in a baseball stadium, the distance to the wall. 400 yards, 375 yards. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, no. That wasn't a home run, though. Just way out. Oh, it's my turn. My turn. Quick. What do you mean? Oh, I see. Because you've played a full run. <laughs> no. Nope. I'm not swinging at that. I will not. Oh, I don't know. Thought he was gonna hit me. Hit by pitch! Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Violence. Not sure that there's as many hit by pitches in an actual game <laughs> as there is in this. I think the uh, pitcher would have been uh, kicked out if he hit somebody twice, two people in a game. I don't know. Don't watch baseball, but it's so slow. <laughs> nope. Come on, throw the ball. Hit by pitch. <laughs> this guy's gun for blood. <laughs> Hit by pitch. What? This guy needs to be arrested. Yeah, I feel like it's darker on Foul. the stream than it is on the screen. Oh, I, hit the, I was watching. The blue. Oh, I got hit by pitch. Good. Um, it is a bit darker on the screen. On the on the stream. Um, on the, the screen, screen. I don't have any difficulty reading the three. But it's oh. harder on the, the stream, is what I'm saying. Uh, which three? The runs? The blue. Oh, no. I it's guess. a four now. I can... You say it's harder here or there? Harder there. On okay. the stream. <laughs> the stream, stream is harder than the screen. <laughs> <laughs> the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains. <laughs> He's just hitting me so much that I'm getting on base. Oh, accidentally. Oh, my. Ooh, I can actually, like, mess with him. Because I know he's swinging. If he's... Oh, it depends on how far he swings, though, I think. Ooh. Oh, no, that was a ball. Mm -hmm. But it looked like he swung the whole way. Did he swing the whole way or only up to the plate? It looked I don't it looked like he swung 
too far. Oh, now it's you. Yeah. Yeah! Home run. Kick Woo! Ass. Good afternoon, Jedekiah. Doo -dee, doo -dee, doo -dee. Thank you so much for the bits. Oh, hit by pitch. Is there supposed to be that many hit by pitches? Well, if it doesn't happen it's a lot in the game, it's like any game. I remember playing, uh, there was a game, a Vampire the Masquerade game, and a big thing in the role-playing game Vampire the Masquerade is that killing vampires is wrong. Like, really, really, really bad. Foul. And it could get you killed just having done it. But the video <laughs> game is you kill... You just, all day long and all night long, you kill other <laughs> vampires. <laughs> and you break all the rules, and, and it's just, nice. you know, there aren't that many vampires, like, in the city that you kill in just one level. You know? <laughs> it's a video game. They gotta amp it up. Kicking ass against the computer. So if you only hit the players as often as you might in a real game, then it would be like... Zero. Look, you're like, oh my god, I was playing in this one day and they hit me with the ball. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which would be cool, to be honest. But That it's such a rarity? Yeah. yeah. No. The ball was thrown faster that time. Um, also, I would definitely put in a delay if you're switching from batting to pitching. Because one time I was swinging... Yeah, and it automatically threw the ball because that was the last. Yeah. Because I, I, uh, it was a strike. Yeah. And it switched to pitching, and I threw it immediately. Yeah. So I would definitely put in like at least like um, a second or so before it allows you to pitch. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. my God! I think I found the formula. <laughs> <laughs> yep I can do infinite outs uh, I've dominated the computer <laughs> needs fixing <laughs> there's another thing to fix <laughs> excellent excellent start lol <laughs> you figured it out <laughs> hit by pitch there's too many hit by pitches too may want to lower that um, that's awesome um, really fun simplistic baseball game a uh, very arcadey um, baseball game. Okay, we're going to go on to the next baseball game, um, which is not finished. It's very early, he warned me. You can't really even properly play it. Um, but it is Dice Baseball, is it? Baseball Dice uh, by Steve Engelhart, Atari's Maximus. This uh, was posted yesterday. 128k game. Go for it. Baseball dice. Press left, fire to begin. Right, fire for rules. Let's do the rules. So we know how to play. He says, I love baseball. Uh, right, fire for rules. I started writing another game based on baseball dice. I made some good progress, but the game logic is broken. So, baseball dice rules. Pitching team rolls one dice. So, pitching determines either okay. strike, ball, strike, ball, striker ball. Okay, you have two. 50% for each one of those. And the batter rolls two dice. Um, so one through six, one through six, one, one. Uh, double, runners advance two bases. Or a ground. Oh, this is cool. It's got lo lots of stuff. Ground out, double play, hit by pitch. How many hit by pitches are there? One. That's more reasonable. <laughs> one out of... Uh... Sorry. Oh, I see. One out of... Uh... What is it? 36? No, because... 1-1 one, one equals 1-1, one, one, so they don't have two 1-1s. One, so it's uh, 6 factorial. 1 times 2 times 3. Not 1 times... 1 plus 2 plus 3. But there's a 1 and a 1 six. and a 1 and a 1. But the, in this game, both of them are equal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. In terms of options, anyway. Yeah, yeah. But yes, you are true. A 1 and a 1 and a 1 and a 1 are the are will add up the same. I think. Maybe I'm crazy but anyway the options are but everything is like that so everything is you could have a two and a four yeah and a four and a two but they only show it once once yeah so it doesn't matter the order of the dice but yeah. they could have done an order like a four two and a two four that's true yeah 
But one one can only happen once. Yeah. But but four two can only happen once. Yes. I mean, it happens in two ways, but it counts as the same thing. So it's yeah. the same for all of them, isn't it? Uh, so every one of these is as likely as every other one. I mean, it's not as likely because... <laughs> is it? Uh oh, we're getting into statistics. Yeah, if you, are, if you are going for a specific dice roll, it doesn't matter what it is. It's the same. If you want a two and a four, I it's the Thomas same as would one like this one. better than actual baseball because it's all statistics. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, if you wanted a, a specifically something, yeah, a home run, home run can only happen once. Like you're not going for a seven, you're going for a two and a five. That's the same as a one and a one. Because you have to have a two, yeah, on the and you have one. to have a five. On but the but one. no, no, no. Because a 1-1 one, one needs to have a 1 on each die. It doesn't matter which one. It doesn't well, matter which die. It doesn't well, have to be the first one. You what? could do it that way. But what I'm saying yep. is that it's not... Anyways, I'm getting loud. <laughs> a, one and, a, a 1 and a 1 can only happen once. A 4 and a 3 in this game can happen... There's yeah, but a 1 and a 1 does happen twice. There's still two dice. No. Like in this, okay, you're saying you're saying in reality you could get, do you you couldn't assign two things to one one. Yes. But in this game, what I'm saying is true because they're not differentiating between five one and one five. Uh, and so therefore, it's the same as the one one. You have two two possibilities of getting that though. That's right. Same and with the one one. Mm, no. No, you don't. Yeah, because they have to both be... Yeah, because one dice can be two things the other way. Yeah. And one one can only be one thing. One one, they both have to be the one. Yep. And so each dice has to be... I don't... <laughs> you just have to believe me for now. <laughs> you don't have to, but believe me. I don't know why I think the answer's me. up here, but it is somewhere <laughs> up there. Oh, mighty being in the clouds. Um, but it, there's a lot of options here, which is really, really cool. Um, errors, flyouts, ground outs. Um, I don't see a foul ball. Maybe that's renamed to something out. Is it ground out? I don't know what that is. Okay, here's the baseball field. Um, he says this doesn't... Okay, pitcher roll. So we got a one, which is what? Oh, oh, it's the same joystick. The batter roll is a ball. Okay, roll four and a strike. Oh, those are hard to see. Yeah. The gray on green is a bit a bit rough. Gray on black is, is awesome. You can see it. Maybe a white would be good. Oh, yeah, yeah. this is hard to follow. I mean, uh, obviously, if you wanted to continue this, you would show the movement. You would show the pitches as well. Yeah. Um, because that would be make it more, um, like, I don't know, interesting. And, and you would see what's going on. Like, the pitcher just pitched a ball. And, um... Oh, oh, it is kind of indicating. Oh, you can see the people on the, um, on the bases. Okay, but not running around. So double, strike, double, double, double. Oh, they're not really moving. Actually, a double would move the batter to the second base and mm -hmm. the second base to home. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, strike, fly out. Okay, ball. Okay. Yeah, I definitely... And so that's why it was staying up there, because so he kept getting doubles, and so it was it would just showing flip, you the slate. Flip, flip. I think ru people running would be very, very cool. Yeah, I tend to do that with colors. Darker show up much better in emulation. Mm, yeah. The game logic in the code got pretty complicated fairly quick. I bet. There's just so many com combinations. It's an initial attempt, and it doesn't work. Um, I think this could work. Uh, and actually showing the dice on the screen, like instead of a one, showing a showing dice pips. with one, yeah. and the dice with, yeah, are they called pips? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that would be more uh, visually interesting as well. Um, well. They're pips when you see the dots, yeah. as opposed to you can have a square with yes. numbers on it. 
Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because like, say a 20 sided dice would have the numbers on it. A six sided dice could have numbers or pips. Yeah. Yeah. How at this point, there's, at this point, like the numbers, yeah, they're hard to read, but like That's... you can make them out and oh, like, yeah. you're just working on it. It's whatever. Yeah. 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 How many, is there any eight sided dice with pips or is like six is the maximum? I mean, they, you could, I have had, like at the store, I have had dice with pips that were not six sided dice, but as oh. a rule, six sided dice might have pips or numbers and the rest of them tend not to yeah. because with six, it's obvious. And when you go above right. six, it's no longer obvious. Yeah. You were not you look, used to the patterns anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But also there, the patterns become more complicated. Like, even with a D8, it's only two right. more sides, but eight... How would you represent it? Uh, it would just be... Threes you, and a two... You'd be able to do it, yeah. but, like, the way it works now is that, you know, when you see a six, it's, like, it's obviously not a five yes. and obviously not a four. Yes. But for a split second, you maybe you'd get used to it with an eight. I think like, an eight would be, like, three I think and the then eight two would in be the middle. Fine, but I think when you went to ten... Oh yeah, you would you would start have, have to count. <laughs> you, your brain would be slow at at least at first. Your brain would be slow at seeing the difference between an eight and a ten. Or there have to be a standardization that everyone would agree on. It's like this is the pattern for ten. It's a circle. Oh, it, or oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's something. Different. And nine is three rows of three. It's like yeah. super visually obvious right away. Yeah. So Atarius Maximus says showing dice on the screen was a plan, but wanted to make the game work first before I enhance visual. Yeah, oh yeah, of yeah, course. This is sure, a work yeah. in progress. Everything's going to be put in as as things go along. So don't don't worry about our <laughs> criticism or, or suggestions because this is obviously a, a work in progress. Um, but I love the premise of a baseball game determined by rolling dice. Um, I think it can work. And I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, if it's like a visual, if it's a little bit more visual, um, I think it would work really well. You could put like crowd noises in as well. Um, and like hitting, hitting the ball would make a, a noise. Like just um, really go all out with, with a baseball game, except it's dice based. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to show that. I know it was very early on, but uh, I like to show things and so people can give some feedback on yeah. it, uh, especially if the developer hasn't like maybe thought of one thing. Um, okay, so we're on to our last game. And of course, you're on my lap, so I can't get up, but we're going to be playing Paddlefield by Thomas Yench. Uh, this build is from yesterday, technically today, because there was a minor update. Um, just a bug fix. And um, so let's load it up and Darcy will play in single player mode. And this is a paddle game, actually. So let's turn that off and switch over to the 2600. And we're going to be playing this off the plus cart. Boom. 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 So one of those will be the... <clears throat> I was thinking player. about this the other day. And I'm wondering, like... I'm wondering... Oh, I guess we already have the answer to that, because Etch-A-Sketch exists. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, how hard would it be to, like, on-the-fly aim with... Because oh. you, could, you could do the controller like that. Yeah. That that how is would you... pretty much how a mouse works. Yeah, mouse, and yeah. why would you not be able to do that? And a rollerball, um, an uh, absolute positioning joystick. Yeah. They just convert the um, potentiometers into x and y coordinates. Yeah. So literally, and a trackball is a just like on, on a twenty like, six hundred, you can make a mouse. Yeah, like a rollerball is just like my track, my mouse. My actually, mouse. The, the mouse is different because a mouse is like I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down. These have a limit. Yeah. Yeah. So these are not like a mouse. They're like a um, a you, positioning but you could, joystick. Yeah, yeah, you could. 
fake it. Well, you could do what you do with a mouse on a computer screen. When it hits the end, it just stays there. It and then when you move further. the mouse the other way, it goes up. Yeah. yeah. So you could you could make a mouse on a 2600. Nobody has done it. I haven't heard of a... Ah! Calm, calm down. Calm down. Okay. No, oh, I don't think you're playing yet. No, you're not playing yet. Okay, so there is a menu system at the bottom. Um, uh, you want to control the left one. So whichever one's controlling the left, put the other one down. I thought I was going to have to do both. And I, I thought I'm not going to do well. Okay. So, <laughs> so let's look at the menu system, Darcy. The play button, mm -hmm. which is which starts the playing mm -hmm. or continues. Um, to go through the menu, press the stop. Go in the middle, mm -hmm. press the button, and then you go left and right cool. to alter it. Uh, you can go up and then up again. Go down a bit, then back up, down, up. And that's how you go through the menu options. Very, very innovative way to do a menu with a paddle. Tom's yeah, once you know... It's like fast. It's pretty great. Click, click, yeah, click, yeah. click. So this yeah. one's a color. So this is a color you like. Uh, I'm green. There we go. Okay. <laughs> press the button. And then you move to the next one. Then you press the button to go into that menu. And then you go up and down again. You can change the other color. So you can change the background and you can change the foreground. Thress says the menu system is the hardest part. I mean, yeah. <laughs> hardest part of the game to play. <laughs> Innovative, but not very intuitive. Well, you'd, you'd have a manual. It's it's not a... Yeah. Once you're told, though, it, it's is, like, oh. it does take that step. And now, now you're into the intuitive part. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you, you don't want to play yet. Now. Because we want to, um, so go up or down. Oh, no, no, stop going back and forth to the menus. We want to go through the menus. Oh my god. Okay, the, uh, the reversey thing restarts the game. Okay. But we don't need to do that because it is. So this is, um, Pressing. how many players? So press, yeah, <laughs> it's Qbert. So go up and down. So that's two players, two computers, and uh, single player. So you want to do single player because I have some stuff to read. Okay, go to the next menu. That is controls. Uh, that is ball steering. Wait a second. Nope. That's without ball steering. So go up. Oh, no. Oh. I got to click oh, on go it. Go into it, yeah. That's with steering. You can steer and the ball. What is, what is this, then? Uh, what? Stop, stop moving. Oh, it that one, that one, oh, and that one. Oh, ball steering only, and okay. that is paddles without ball steering, and that's paddles with ball steering. Okay. Uh, to steer the ball, move the paddle significantly up and down after the ball has hit your own border. So maybe, yeah, p paddles with ball steering, so you can show everything. A steering lasts until the ball hits a border or is returning. So that one is speed. It's 15 combinations. The left is the player's speed, left player's speed, and the right is the uh, right player's speed. Um, and bigger, smaller is slow, bigger is fast. So you might want to start on slow and slow. Oh, there's many combinations. Wow. You said there were 15. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, next one is the board. So that's slow and slow. I feel like the computer is slightly faster than mine, but whatever. <laughs> they look the same. Uh, what do I Next. do now? Okay, board, click into that. So there's different uh, boards. Yeah, this is uh, couch compliant. He said uh, platinum couch compliance. I don't yet know what these boards, what the different colors mean. Is it just background? Pouch compliant. Uh, it's the board, like you're trying to chip away at his uh, blocks. Okay. So his blocks are the dark for you okay and my blocks are the light yes okay for him okay. You, you you'll get a more sense of it once it starts because yep. your ball is in the light and you're trying to get rid of the dark ones the colors are just eye candy yeah it doesn't doesn't make any difference
So that's an interesting one, a step. What's that? Oh, right, you changed? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you've already set the colors. Oh, okay. So now you can go to uh, go to the menu of the start. There you go. So if you miss the ball, uh, it goes small. If you get the ball, it, it stays big. So you're penalized for missing it. Yeah, it's jittery. Don't at me. <laughs> don't what? Don't at me. That means, like, in social media, don't mention my name and tell me that it's it's jittery, because I already know. <laughs> so you're trying to uh, win by a certain amount of blocks. Oh, Game Boy Colors, yep. Oh, I see. So your best tactic is to keep it low at the bottom, because you can quickly go back and forth and destroy blocks. The yeah. slowest would be at the top, because it takes longer to return. Um, and you can steer the ball, he said, by... Oh, don't press the button. Um, that exits. By moving it quite a bit. After you hit it. There you go. And it only works after you hit it. Yeah. Not on the return. Um, okay, so we're playing on the plus cart. Um, where the selected game variation is saved. Oh, did, did I it end? I think... I think you might yeah. have lost. How? But we're... How would I have lost? Um, it got down to a certain a number. I haven't got that. I got to it in the instructions. But he has to get it down. He got it down to seven. Got what down to seven? The number of blocks. So it starts at a. It starts even. But it looks still pretty close to even. It's hard to tell on this one because. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it starts at thirty, I think, and then it has an arrow on who is winning and then it goes back up to 30 and then down the other way so if you start it again yep uh try a different board this time okay so um up up <laughs> up 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 uh that's that one. one there you go that's cool let's do that one and then go to play Perfect. See, it starts at 30, and you don't really have a chance yet <laughs> to hit the ball, but it will get there, so it'll stay pretty even. So you're winning, now he's winning, now you're winning. <laughs> so the arrow points to the person who's winning, and it counts down. And if you hit his side, you win automatically. Ooh, that is a copyrighted song there. <laughs> uh, Thomas, yeah, trying to get me in trouble. Thrust. That looks, it like, looks a like a bug. Like a bug. Like it uh, didn't the, make that noise when it ended. The it? paddle moving through pieces looks like a bug. Oh like yeah. That. It's because the it, I, pieces are all the way to your border. I guess they're not supposed to be. That's more like a luck board. Yeah, maybe not play this one. Yeah, but it was better to show off. So you know. I, I, it was very cool. Yeah, yeah, it actually really showed what was happening. Yeah, uh, quite well to be honest. Yeah. Short enough a tune, I think it is. We'll see what YouTube says. <laughs> uh, okay, so keep playing, different boards, please, mm -hmm. and I'll read out. Following cool suggestions in this thread, I started developing my own Atari Twenty Six Hundred version of Pong Wars, which has been renamed Paddlefield which is a play on words of Battlefield, which is good, because he asked for suggestions, and people gave a lot of great suggestions, but Paddlefield is, is awesome. Um, it's space-optimized. ROM has to stay within 4K, so no large tables. This one one seems line kernel. Yeah, that one's a very, uh, like, plain Jane. This, this, is, this is good, like the other one, for explaining what's going on. Definitely. Yeah, because you can very much see where that line is. Um, it has over 275,000 game variations. So I, I guess the plus cart will be keeping track of these all these variations and the high scores. No. <laughs> it only saves uh, your start. Okay, so the way the advantage here is to... The only advantage I can think of is to hit always hit the the things that they have 
come towards you because they take less time. Exactly. Of course, both people would be doing But eventually, that. I guess you dig holes and uh, defend your... Yeah, I guess it's like... It's not... You would... You could get try and get to the other side. That's a tactic. So you could dig a oh, hole. Oh, that too. There's the thing. Find a hole and keep that digging. bounces twice. Yeah, and go ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yep. like that. Yeah, so if you keep getting it in that hole, you could probably beat him by digging through the other side or just by fast. Like, you're winning. You, you're almost down. You're at nine. You're at seven. Yeah, if you can get in that hole over and over again, you, you will. Remember, you can steer. I should turn that off. Yeah, I, know, I was never any good at the steering. <laughs> uh, fire button ends and starts game. Uh, goals reach the opposite border or X depends on the selected ball speeds. Extra cells. X is reduced by one every four. You did it. You oh, are so, the winner. Okay, so you got to touching zero. the other person's side, but also it's just getting slightly ahead. Okay. Yeah. Like a certain level ahead. I understand what you're saying now. Yep. Okay, so um, he's done lots and lots and lots of updates. I was going to read out all the updates, but let's play two players. Okay. So let's change the field. Uh, oh, I got to press the button. Yeah, before you're I the controller. The... Oh, and change it to two players as well. Nope. Done that, done that. Maybe that one. Okay. That one's kind of interesting. It's got lots of... Uh... No. There. there we go. go. I love the menu system. I really like it. It, it works really well. Come on, Jerry, get out of here. All right. So it seems like uh... there she's winning. Well, it seems like like that's the first time that the ball has come to me. <gasps> and you snuck, hole. you snuck a hole in there, and, and, and I, I have one hole. up there. This one's a good one because yeah. it has you can play both tactics, and you can defend. I, can you bounce the opponent's ball away, like defend your wall? I think you can. So I'm guessing you definitely want to defend the open portion. Defending. No, I was too busy looking at mine. <laughs> no defending. Oh, really? Well, this one's very deadly then. Goal starts at 30. 30 dot dot 60? Or I guess depends. And decreases one by every 4.25 seconds. Okay. So how would you... See, I can't... I guess I could build up that area up there to block that hole. Yeah, I need to build up that area and take out that hole. There we go. Nice. I can't say that I uh, get how to control the ball. Uh, after you hit it, you just move up and down, and the ball will move up and down. Oh, oh might be jumping. No, no. <laughs> it turns around really quick, the points. Because I was, like, winning by a lot. Oh, my God, you almost won there. Oh, you're almost one. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, you won. Okay, next uh, play field. Best defense is a good offense. It it is in this one. Uh, nope. Right. Oh, you want to do this one? Okay. It's a. If you want a different one, but. Nope. It's, it's pretty good because it doesn't have an open area right away, to the other side. I like the tactic of there's two ways to win. Yeah, I like that. Because you can either concentrate on one or the other, and you also have to concentrate on defense, too, of building up... Um, like, you're chipping away at that wall down there. 
So I have multiple choices. Of course, there's, it can be stuck in a, a way that I can't even control it if it's over on that side. Well, uh, what happened uh, in one of them for me oh, it's so was... so jittery. Um, need to fix these paddles. Was I didn't even have any... Um, Almost one. Oh my god. A couple more hits. Down to one. Kicking my ass every time. <laughs> <laughs> is it the only detriment to miss? Is that the only? Yeah. Detriment to missing the ball is making your paddle smaller. Yep. This one is just soothing to watch. Yep. Um, oh, let's bring up the speed. Let's okay. let's go to max speed and see what the range is cuz that was the slowest. There. Oh, down. It's nice it has a loop around. You don't have to go through the whole thing again. And change the board once more. I haven't done this one. Yep. Let's do it. I've never seen a menu system like that. It's oh, awesome. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. Oh, this one has 60. Starts at 60. Interesting. Yeah, much faster. Oh, I, oh maybe the speed, because a 30 would be over too quick with this speed. That's what it was. Yeah, any uh, paddle games from now on must use this type of menu system. It's like, it's now the de facto standard. <laughs> After seeing it, it's so good. It is very good. I yeah. can't imagine a better one. I mean, some some have like uh, text menus as well. But if you want a minimal one, oh my god. So good. Because I think Medieval Mayhem has a, a really good um, paddle menu as well. But it's full full text, like menu items scrolling up and down. So it does a very good one, too. But you want a minimal single line? Wow. What? How am I winning? It's crazy. And I like how it um, decrements how many points you have to achieve. Um, by a little bit every couple seconds or whatever. Oh. Because if you're playing longer, it's obviously like, oh, it's going yeah, to yeah. last a long yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Because otherwise a game could just be become that. Like, oh, it's never going to end. <laughs> yeah. So eventually it'll go down to, well, there's only one point differentiating both of you, so you better get it. Hi, cats. How you doing? Did you like the ball game? We're going to evolve that ball game. I'm going to buy another ball. If I can't find that exact ball, I'll have to buy two that are the same. Because we have to have a fair. And we'll get a bigger box. And if we can't find a bigger box, we'll find two boxes. So there's two options. <laughs> oh, I'm missing it over and over again. It's always fun when games penalize you for playing badly. <laughs> oh, did we go down to z zero? How did... How can you win... Oh, no, you go down to zero. Yeah, you end with zero. That's right. The iconic... Yeah, iconograph... Iconography? So you won I, when I, it went down to zero? Which is true. That's how it does work. What yeah, does? Because it counts down. It starts at 60. Each one that I hit off of you goes down 59, 58, 57. It was just confusing me at first. It's like, I won with zero points? No. But, like, if it's zero, shouldn't that mean that it's a tie? Uh, because neither of us is ahead? No. Nope. Isn't the number how far one person is ahead? So, let's start it again. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. There we go. Um, see, it counts down. I mean, it's, it's going to take a while. It counts down and points to the person who is winning, and it's counting down. So when it gets to zero, that means that person hit 
60 blocks ahead of the other person. And that's why you need the arrow. To show that that person made it all the way to zero. Sorry, it's uh, it's meow time. <laughs> no, that's the number. How far the leading person is away from winning? Yes. So when it gets down to zero, they have one. So when it's at okay. one, you just need one more block to hit, and you win. And so uh, I maybe I I misunderstood the scoring. I thought it was the difference between the two of you. Um, it, no. Yeah, it's so the you opposite. never know. So you never know who, how much the losing person has. Only the winning person, you can tell how close they are to winning, but you can't tell yes. how far the two are from each other. No, because it's counting down constantly. Okay. So I thought it was, I thought the number was, this is the number, oh. the deficit or the, or the, the opposite of the Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the... Yeah, I don't know what the opposite of deficit is. Uh, no, it's, anti, count, it's anti. counting down to winning. A ne nega deficit. <laughs> nega deficit. Ne nega deficit. <laughs> Pause is it. <laughs> are, the, are the paddles play field? Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow, that's... Yeah, if the paddles are play field, that's very cool. That's complicated. Well, not really, but it, it is... That's very cool. Because they're moving vertically. In Playfield, you can do one pixel at a time vertically. And this is a one-line one kernel. That's why you can move the paddles one, one space at a time. The balls are sprites. Okay. It's the only thing uh, that out on the screen are sprites are the two balls. And the paddles are Playfield. Can, can, I'm, can, I'm, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. So with the scoring. Yep. Starts even Every at bit you have in the positive, they have in the negative, because that's just how it works. Yeah. They have to make up all the way back to, to even. Then they go to their side. So if you are So does this mean... Left is winning. I get And they that have it... 21 more to get. Right. Oh, there's even. 22 is even right now. 21 is even right now. Okay. So the only thing, the only thing I don't like about this <laughs> yeah. is the way that the score is displayed. In that <laughs> it's like the information exists, but... Um, there, There is some information missing, yes. And you, and it would it doesn't seem like it's it's not secret information, but no. you can't see it. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know what the even point is right now until we go back up to the even point. Could be at ten. Could be still at sixty. We don't know. So like here, it's at zero. Yeah. It would be. I would like to see. Like what the difference is. Right. That's what I would like to see. Right. You don't know that. Like like what that number in the middle. If that number in the middle was how much this person's up by, mm. but I do see why it's not like that because the amount you need, and then like you could have, I don't know, I'm not sure this is better. I'm not sure this is better. I'm just like, what would make me less confused <laughs> and what would make me less confused by the scoring is if I could see how much difference you needed it to be. I don't know. Right. This is more elegant. It is but elegant. It's missing... And information you, for me, and I don't... Do you need that information is the question. Is Does it help you play better? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I, you can only see the information that the winner needs has. And so yes. the loser is without information. <laughs> How far behind are you? That's and true. And when it switches, it's just like... Ran, it's almost like... It's not randomly switching, it's but counting like down. From, from the easy to access information, it yeah. feels like, oh, now I just don't get to know anymore. I'm losing, <laughs> and now I also suffer from not even knowing how much I'm losing by. Oh, night, night boy, thank you for following. Glad you're enjoying. Loser doesn't need any information. <laughs> <laughs> that you is your answer. I mean, the truth is you don't need any information. You could just play without any numbers, and like one of you would eventually win. <laughs> But because, no, no. but but the thing is, because it's so tight, it's really cool. It's a really cool yeah, game. Yeah. Because it's so tight. Yeah. And which is awesome. Which is a a a, a pro it makes of it the tense. game. It's good. Yeah. But it's also it, because it's so tight. You, the information's there, but you don't have time to figure it out. And yeah. so 
it's just a little confusing. Like, you don't know how close you are to winning or losing. Yeah. And it feel like you could. <laughs> well, it's not thrust, obvious how. Thrust is saying, I understand Darcy. I'm thinking about a change here, too. Um, I don't know how you would change that by... by you could keep a, you yeah. could put a number at the top. There is room. You could say yeah. the middle number is 20 right now, and it counts down. There, there is room up there. You could do it, and and obviously the game knows that number. Um, yeah, you could adjust it. You could adjust the whole play field down like two lines. I don't know if he's using the overscan for more processing. He may be, um, or the extra room for more processing. But if he has room, he could put sixty at the top, and it starts counting down, and still keep that at the bottom, so you know twenty one is even. That's... And, it, and it, 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 if instead of, I don't, I don't know how, how difficult this is to do, but if you could yeah. have, if the two numbers were like in a position that meant like, like a side by side with a, with a, like of, you know, mm. 10, like the, the, how many you need is counting down here and it could just move to one side or the other. Right. Or, again, this is this is this is this is perhaps more complicated than <laughs> it's going to want to be. But it could slide further this way and further this way. You wouldn't to get see the, who's winning. You and the closer the, it is to the middle, the closer they are. You wouldn't get the granularity of the exact number of no. hits. You would you would just have a moving dot. And that'd be that'd be cool. But you wouldn't know. Oh, I have two left. To but get. if it was, but if what was moving was was the two numbers, the how much, how much someone's up, and how much they need to be up by. Oh, you move the numbers across the screen. That's interesting. Yeah. You still wouldn't know what you the, would. You, I mean, of course, making was. it slide across is uh, unnecessary. It could just be like it's here or it's oh, here. There it goes. Twelve. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So six, like the middle number. Yeah, 16 in the middle, and is, and the arrow still points to the winner, and they have 12 more to go. And yeah. then when the other person's winning, yeah. the arrow goes the other way. Yeah, and, and you would be able to you'd be able to figure it out because that 12 would get down to one, and then yes. it would just show the 16, and then it would go on the other that side. That would work. That would yeah, work. That would work really well. And there's yeah. and there's definitely enough to do that um, across perfect. the bottom of the screen. No, 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 no. Yeah, and it does both because you have the number in the, you have the, the goal in the middle. Yeah. And then you have yes. just by it being on one side or the other tells you who is ahead. You that don't need work. any more than that. That yeah, would yeah. work. That's and really that's a really good that's still a really be good, elegant uh, solution. That's a really good idea. Still be elegant. Still tell you who's winning. Still tell you how much they have to go, and it it, it would look good, and you keep the num the sixteen in the middle. Like absolute middle. Yeah. And and that tells you it's the divide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the divider in the yeah, middle. It's the divider yeah. and yeah. That's that's excellent. I think that would work. Yeah. Yeah. And Thomas can do that easily yeah. in his sleep. <laughs> he can and do that the, in a, like the, two hours. Yeah. One hour even. Yeah, the game is really cool. Yeah, it's it's an awesome, awesome game with so many variations that you'll find one that's going to be good for you it's, in terms of speed and it's so much better than pong <laughs> oh but my it's, god but yes. it's it's the pong game mm -hmm. and for so many reasons it's better like i really like that it's your ball what is it is it breakout is that the game breakout it's so it's, it's like pong and breakout mixed together because i mean breakout is a pong game yeah, yeah. in you know yeah evolution. breakout's a, a big extension of pong because pong didn't have... i've never seen multiplayer breakout which I assume there is one. There, but, there is. Like um, you're on opposite this, sides. This like is, this is almost like multiplayer breakout, yeah. where you're on opposite sides of the breakout, but you can rebuild the wall. It, yeah, it's great. And and the the, the, the negative, counting down, the like the lowering space. of the number that you need, for exactly the reason you said, and I'm sure the reason that Thrust put it is. Yeah. is awesome the oh this game is taking a long time but it's never going to take forever it's never going to take too long <laughs> it's going to get down the to longer one. it takes the shorter it's going to take <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> there is a limit uh in the he says uh just five characters instead of four yeah in the beginning i wanted to stay within four because i'm very short of ram the battlefield already needs 92 bytes but now i'm more relaxed okay so you do have enough um to store that 
um, on the screen. Okay, that's good. Okay, we did it. Made it through the show. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the games that we played today. Block 'em, sock 'em for the 7800 from um, Daryl 1970 and uh, John Hancock. Uh, excellent, excellent puzzle game for the 7800. Super colorful, mm -hmm. uh, very slick presentation. Um, it's it's not an action game, but it feels like an action game almost because you're throwing uh -huh. blocks. And, well, you in the have that. You have the bonus. You have the bonus That's action, an action part. Game. Act, like the yeah. last bit of the game is an action game. <laughs> it is. Like you're yeah. it's frantically cool. trying to throw the box as yeah. you exit the screen. Yeah. Um, I think anyone who loves puzzle games would love that game. Yeah. And it's super slick and it's now for sale. So you can actually buy it on cartridge, which is great. Nice. So, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Home Run Baseball uh, for the 7800. Uh, great kind of uh, homage to uh, Home Run for the 2600. Uh, very simple baseball game, but still very fun. All the mechanics are there for a baseball game. Um, it's just a work in progress right now, so there's still an ongoing thing, but the basics are there. Um, and it has great visual display of like the score and stuff that the 2600 couldn't put on the screen and like the outfield and everything like that. Um, it's it's a it's a fun simple baseball arcade style baseball game that's really really quick. Um, so if if you like uh, arcade style sports games, I think definitely give it a go. Yep. Uh, baseball dice. Now, it's a very interesting twist on baseball because <laughs> you're rolling the dice to see what moves you make. It's a very early work in progress but i think it has huge huge potential up uh, if you add in um extra graphics and the actual visual representation of the dice and the movements of the players and all the sounds and stuff um we'll have to see how it goes but i think it can be a lot of fun especially if you have the sound of the rolling of the dice and things like that um it's kind of think how you can um how you can add a decision right element because like for like that like would the, really at, elevate like there are dice games like we i have a game store yeah anyways uh and there's lots of different dice games yeah um and so there's lots of randomness because of the dice but there's like you Luck like you have skill. choices and so you choose to do this instead of that or whatever yeah. you know like uh, so combining luck with the dice with a little bit of strategy and so you can take a big risk but you're choosing to take a bigger risk rather than a anyways I, right. I, but I i am not immediately i think that would elevate it from good to awesome yeah if you add in the strategy element to in addition to the luck it's like oh i want to get i want to hit the ball but here I can do this decision or this decision based on if I think he's going to throw it this way or throw it this way. Like you don't get full control, but you get a little bit of control to steer the game in one direction or the other. I think that's a very good way to extend the game. Darcy's ponder. <laughs> Like, like you like could you have would... it so like as a batter you could be like okay I'm going to roll the uh, is it bunting is that yeah yeah the, I'm going to roll the... the bunting dice which yes. which which gives yes. me a, let's say a higher chance of getting to first but like no chance of a home run or yes. whatever there you uh, or go. There. I, I'm going to go for the home run dice which gives me a really good chance of a home run but a it's much higher get. chance of being like. Out. Strike out. Strike yeah. right out, like being caught. What is it called when you catch a, the fly? Oh, and fly ball. But when you catch it, you're oh, just you out. I don't know. You're out. Anyways, whatever that's called when you catch the ball and the person's out because Ooh, of it. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, so you have different And the, and the pitcher can have, strategy. I'm going to throw like a fastball, which gives these odds, and a curveball, which gives these odds, yeah. and blah, 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 blah. Because normally in a baseball game, you have full control of the timing of the bat, of the positioning of where you're pitching the ball, the timing of your running. But in a dice game, it's no, you're making decisions on the 
possibility. You're, you're making, yeah, you're making the decision, be, and then it's chance to see whether it works out the right. way you want. Yeah, and strategy comes in that it's like, oh well, I maybe should go for a home run because there's three men on base, but that's not super safe. Maybe I should go for an infield, like a different. And set you could of even dice. you like. These are just ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you could have it so that if you know, you could have that your players have uh, strengths and weaknesses. And so you could try, oh. like, for instance, say the bunt dice can help you load oh. load your, your field and then your big hitter comes up. Right. And so then, like, maybe you tr try to, you, you take a gamble at maybe trying to get some people on the base. So you and would you're just see rolling the, the dice that make that more likely. You still have to roll the dice and see what happens. So you, know? you would see the stat of the person. This guy's a good batter. This could be randomized. This guy, this guy hits. You don't have to get into rosters yeah, and yeah. making your team. Yeah. You could just have a random batter every time and yeah. a random pitcher. Uh, but it would. I think. I think you have to. I think in baseball, anyways, it's not random who comes up, and that's where the no, strategy comes in. So you'd be like, "Oh, he's coming up in three, so I'm going to try to get some people on the base because mm. the big hitter's coming up." Or yeah. What I don't know. I don't know True. what else you would do, but like. But there's a ton of ideas. People know baseball better than I do. <laughs> oh, Atari's Maximus just posted a fix to home run baseball for the reversed controls. Like we couldn't play it two player properly, so that's good. I, that obviously that's an easy fix. You just read the different joystick. Excellent. So you can play two players now. Um. Phoenix, for the seventy eight hundred. Uh, uh, it was just a proof of concept, or yeah, proof of concept. It looks stunning, uh, at the arcade game Phoenix, um, and it's got yeah. some of the basics in there already, and it looks great. So I hope that it's uh, continued on by Revenge. Uh, he's an excellent programmer. I, I mostly know agree, but part of me likes that I could uh, just <laughs> win forever. Shoot with impunity. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's just it's you can't die in the game right now. And paddle, if anyone wants to test Paddlefield, forget emulation unless you can attach a paddle. Everything will not work well. Yeah, you, you really have to use a paddle. Yeah. Good ideas, James and Darcy, all things to consider. Yeah, like it can, that, you can make that game really, really robust and complicated if you want. And I think that would be cool to almost make a dice board game on a video game. Yeah, it's system. just that, like, and I know that it's just like super early in the game, so I don't know where yeah. you're going with it. But it's like, like, like as it is, it seemed like the dice just get rolled and the stuff happens and yeah. there's no decisions, and that's that's it's fine. But it's almost like watching it. Yeah, because you're just pressing. Yeah. A and so I was just dice. thinking if we had some ideas of what you could do. Yeah, even extending it just a little bit so there's some decisions, just a little tiny bit, would make it. Uh, I think a little bit more interesting. I mean, it's it's really cool how it is, yeah. But because there's a disconnect between you holding the dice and rolling them, I and it translates into a video game where you're just pressing a button. I think that luck element feels a little bit disconnected in a video game. You could do something about that. Yeah, yeah that's you, a good point. But you could have it be like actual dice on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> you pressing the button. How many times do you press the button? And, roll, it, just, and, it, and, it, and it it doesn't give you an advantage, but like it, it does, does change what number you'll get. It really does, actually. Like, it, but what I yeah. mean is, if you press it, oh, you press it six times, and so that's like a factor <laughs> in the in the the randomness, right? Like it, yeah. it multiplies, <laughs> and so even though you have no control. It's still, it's just like rolling the dice. You have no control, but you can like. <laughs> and, Pretend and you have control. And the, what you do with the dice before you throw it does change what comes out. You just don't yeah. know what it does, and you don't really have any control yeah. over it. It doesn't but change it's still, in real life it does, either. It yeah. does impact it, you know, yeah. like. <laughs> um, and Paddlefield for the 2600. Oh my God. Wow. It's a really cool game with tons of options. It's like Pong cross with breakout yep. but you're on different universes competing against other each other yep. light and dark uh the menu system is absolutely brilliant how it works um there's so many options you will never ever get them all how many were there um 275,000 different types of games different <laughs> play fields different speeds of the ball 
Um, yeah, it's, it's endless. So if you like Breakout or Pong or any type of game, and especially it's great for two players too. We yeah. never get enough of two player games. Yeah. Cause yeah. I love them on the show to, to show yeah. off two players. Um, it's really, really awesome. Thomas did a great job. Uh, definitely check it out at least. So that's good. We did it. Such Hooray! great games today. Uh, really impressed. Always impressed by the community. Um, the, the innovation is always astounding. Uh, you'll have to try them all out in After Dark. Yep. Variation 1. T -t -t variation 2. <laughs> all 275,000. Yep. Um, so let's take a look at what's coming up. It works as single player well. Just give the AI a bit more speed. Yeah. So you can uh, make it more difficult if you're too good at it. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Oh yeah, the the range in oh, the amount of speed fifteen, and and, yeah. and the the fact that you can increase it asymmetrically is yes. That gives you a lot of like you got to get real good before you can't make it before you can't make it so the computer can beat you. Yeah, and you yeah. can play like a little kid mm -hmm. and like make yours really slow and theirs fast, and they can just decimate you like really really quick. Um, so coming up on the show, uh, we are going to be doing on Tuesday the basic 10-liner contest entries. I might get bumped if I don't fix my Atari 8-bit um, because it's gone yellow again. Hooray! But I kind of know how to fix it. But if it's yellow, you, will that keep it from being used? Yeah, because it looks like crap. Because it just make people really angry? Yes, it can't, makes people really angry. Can't you fix it in post? <laughs> Uh, it flickers back and forth between yellow and... I could fix it in post, but it actually only... Could you fix it in pre-post? Could you, like, yes, fix it I to could. set it so it just adjusts the colors in the stream? If it stayed... <laughs> if it stayed on one, I could. Fix it, fix it. I would <laughs> Otherwise, it gets bumped to, um, Friday or the next Tuesday. But I want to do it on Tuesday because it's after the closing of the entries. Um, and a lot of them are posted. There's two that are only videos, but I, I hope he posts them um, before the show. Uh, my XEGS has been broken for years. Um, I do have an Atari 800 um, NTSC version. What? It's doing the Atari sit! Yeah, he's I don't think taking, I ever noticed that before. He, he's doing that more and more. He's got his belly out up against the door. He's like, why are you guys staring at me? Get both cats. But this there. is like an Atari position classic atari pose if um, i move the webcam will that be okay he's gonna run but you can but try I'm gonna try it you can try you have to wrap it around Very the right hand side slowly and then, and maybe a small creature won't flee even though it should it's not the greatest angle but he's like sitting with his belly out and up against the door and he's not leaning against the door. That's a good, that's a pretty good angle. Hi. He's not <laughs> leaning against the door right now as much because he's a little more active. <laughs> but like he was like slouched against the door. <laughs> Just like, like the, that's an Atari sit. Atari does Har that. Uh, yeah, that's Atari's classic pose. Atari's yeah. got a big beige belly. Sorry, Atari. What you do? <laughs> Hardcore lounging. Sorry for the motion sickness I probably gave. Oh, I switched it away when you uh, <laughs> when you did it. That was, uh, I mean, yeah. Do you remember when first person shooters came out on computers? Do you yeah. remember that a lot of people were like, Ugh. like they would get motion sickness from seeing somebody pl just looking at the screen and seeing the screen move? Yeah, it was and such some a pe different experience that nobody had experienced before. And but. Am I wrong, or do people not feel that way anymore? I've never heard that. It's I've, now I, VR, and it was a thing. And in VR, now this it's is VR. a thing that this is a thing in VR. It was huge, and now I feel like people are getting used to it. Like, because lots of people play it a lot, and they slide along the floor, which is the barf-inducing, <laughs> you know, thing. I know that I got used to. It. Well, they also came up with tricks so they narrow your vision. Anyways, yeah, uh, I just wanted to ask about the. First it, person shooter. Just looking at the screen, people will get so sick. Did first person shooters change, or did we change? I think we changed because we can go back to those first ones and we go, "Oh, that's the." We don't I never. We don't I say never, That's the sickening one. I never felt like that. I never I, did. Either. I don't think. I don't think it was the games because the it was just 
It was when the true 3D came out. So, like, for yeah. instance, the 2.5D, Which was... it didn't do it. As far as I know, I don't oh. remember people getting sick from that. And well, I think you, it probably well, wasn't... You, you couldn't look up and down mostly. Yeah, when Quake... Games. The Quake ones came out where you could look directly up and down, and, and jump it was like real 3D. And, yeah, that's when like Tanya gets car sickness if mm -hmm. she's like reading because that's the thing that does it. Yeah, it's the moving without seeing yeah. or seeing without moving. Yeah, it's one both do it. And playing a game is you're moving, but you don't feel the moving. You see the moving. Um, oh, CRT and LCD that might make a difference too. Because we played them on CRT monitors on the computer. That's true. Well, 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 how would that... Like, I'm not... And not immediately coming to mind what difference that would make. But Fly Hunter 10 line. Uh, yeah, that's why I haven't added to the list. Because it's not released yet. I mean, I've played it. But um, it hasn't been put out anywhere. But I will add it to the list. I'll be monitoring um, any, one, any more 10-liners. One thing they did in VR is that... in in games you can i think it's an option but you can enable it so that it like narrows your vision when you when you turn and then oh, it kind of yes. opens it up yes and it it does that help yeah it makes a huge it makes a huge difference for the movement yeah because it doesn't feel like you're moving as much right with a wide it gets rid of that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. crt anyway. plus for for fluorescent lights well that's a great combo <laughs> Yeah, is it FP? Isn't it FPS related? Oh no, because on CRTs we had pretty high FPSs, because CRTs could do high FPSs, like seventy-two FPS. I remember like decent monitors in that era when th when yeah those came out. Like oh, you have a seventy-two hertz monitor. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the resolution. I, and I'm pretty sure like that that I, yeah. I'm so pretty sure we been had that, and people felt that way but cats like can see lcd tvs better too i bet they can like these yeah. guys um he doesn't care as much but sprite watches any animal that's on the tv He'll yeah be like, the mook was like that too he he like attack it he liked sheep and sheep dogs <laughs> specifically <laughs> that's what he saw so. <laughs> but like it, it were, there were only certain things that would get his attention but once he, they got his attention yeah, yeah. Uh, and they would chase my mouse cursor on my oh, CR, but that was on the CRT. Really? Yeah. CR wow. Yeah. Because uh, that's where they spent the most time was when we had a CRT because the top of it was very warm and broad. <laughs> oh, at one yes. time, cats on CRTs. At least, at le I'm sure it happened several times, but at least once the mook okay. fell off of the monitor <laughs> and bounced off the keyboard because he was so dead asleep from the oh, delightful man. warmth of the CRT. <laughs> Um, I've actually put in a uh, tabletop game special into the, um, and it's not tabletop games that you think of tabletop games, not board games, those things. Ah, yes. These things. So, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of them. There we go. Blurry, but big. Small, but clean, clear, blurry, but big. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, I have a bunch of these, and I wanted—I've been wanting to do a stream on them for a long time because I—I I don't think anybody's ever streamed tabletop games on Twitch, um, and they're really cool. And I even have some modern ones that were put out a couple of years ago that use the same technology as this. Um, a lot of new. So this is not one of the modern ones. No, no, this okay. is a classic one that's actually worth money. Um, not much because it's Frogger, but it is worth money. Um, yeah, so that will be a lot of fun to do. Um, so I tentatively put it for the 26th. I don't know. Um, I also want to put uh, Steve Englehart coming up this month later, maybe. Uh, at is the sticker on, on the back of it. What is the sticker on the back of it? Is there, was there a sticker on the back? Oh. <laughs> I stole it from Shannon, apparently. Property of Shannon. Oh, it's very bright. Sorry. There you go. Shannon. Shannon owned this. I did not take that sticker off. Cause yeah, how are you going to stream them? What's your plan? My plan is to, uh, just like we did with the Vectrex show, mm -hmm. which worked awesome, mm -hmm. and I have even a better way to do it now, because I, I bought a polarizer filter, so it'll get rid of reflections, ah, too. Ah, nice. So one camera on the one camera on the tabletop game and it'll be like right here 
uh, on a table in between. Um, and we'll actually be playing it off the TV because the camera will be like right in it. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And then so, At whatever so you'll have distance. two screens just like this. Yeah. Uh, it'll just be blown up here. Just like right, but what games. I mean is the stream will be oh, like normal. Yeah. So it'll, be you, absolutely it'll have normal. the camera like normal and then it'll have the picture of the... Yep. Perfect. Except... Yeah, that's except what I was thinking. Instead yeah. of a video game, it'll be the camera there. Might be a bit of lag. Mm, I don't... I think it's like instant because we have the capture. Yeah, when I was... Oh, no. Because when we're playing video games, we're playing it off of... The, the same capture device. Yeah, the yeah. same capture. For yeah. you, it's lag, but everything's timed yeah. up lagged. Yeah. But for us, it's not lagged. And you all. already did it. And we've done it with you the Vectrex. You did it with the Vectrex. So, you so know that, that, I know it that works. worked. Yeah. It, it's not challenging. It, we just won't be able to see the controls as easy, but once you, there's only like two buttons maximum on these games. Um, and a joystick. Yeah, that's the trickiest part, is that the controller is attached to the thing you're camera. Yeah. But yeah. So it won't be that bad. Um, yeah, that might be the hardest part because there has to be a camera somewhere. What, what, what you, if you were, if you weren't just doing it once, what we would do is we would build a rig that held the camera <laughs> on right. the device and then you could put the device wherever yeah. you want. The camera would be like mounted on the table somehow. So it's static. Well, you would make a little rig that attaches to the, no, that no, would no, no, possibly no. break it. No, no, no. I, it's a, if you're using webcam. Oh, webcam, yeah. Yeah. I may even use a webcam. Because it's super light. Because it, the, a camera on a tripod won't give much room here. And it would have to be out here. Yeah. So That's I, what I'm thinking. Like, if you had, if you oh, had a webcam, it. you had it, like... And if you had a little rig on it that attached it to the thing, so oh. it'd be like in the movies when the camera's attached to the person. And like, like this? <laughs> That's... Exactly. In fact... It actually in almost fact, works. Almost exactly that. Oh, people can see it. Yeah. So there, I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah. That almost works. It doesn't really stay, but because it it's not meant to go upside down. There you go. How's that? Let's go for webcam large. I don't have any batteries, so I can't do anything. I have to dust all these, obviously. But like. Yeah. But there's reflections, and that's a problem. Well, that's in focus. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reflections could be dealt with in two non-filter ways. Break out the gaffer tape. Yeah, um, actually. No, I'm not taping anything to these. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Some of these are very expensive. Like my Zaxxon. Oh, my God. You just use elastic bands. Mm. And this is small enough to put a lot. Like yeah. elastic around this way, one way or the other. And if you were going to do it a lot, which you, yeah. you're not. But if you're going to do it a lot, you could just like print something. Then I just flip it upside down because it's upside down. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Uh, interesting. Uh, and so you it could deal with it. Uh, the, the inside's lit. And so that might overcome the glare. And There's also no... if you turn down the lights. Is there a top sticker for Frogger? I don't think there is. I'll be very mad. Oh, there's a top sticker for Donkey Kong. Oh, no. My Frogger is bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am very particular about <laughs> the tabletop and, and, and Game and & Watches, and I did not notice that the Frogger sticker is missing. It's the back stickers on that one. Yeah, the back stickers are on that one. Anyway, uh, everything else is in very, very good condition on that one. And Ms. Pac-Man. Yeah, there's a top sticker on that one. But no back stickers. But the sticker that was on the back of the other one's on the bottom of this one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But there's one on the bottom here too. It yeah. does seem to be the same one that's Now you've ruined James collection. <gasps> ITC, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> oh well, that's okay. I, I'm not gonna put <clears throat> aftermarket stickers on it. Let's see this eBay thing. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I see the top sticker. Thank you for the link. I see. Oh well, it's it's wrong. Yeah, I, I, I see what it looks like. You've ruined my day. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um it's the rest is in very, very good condition. But yeah, I can't sell it as mint now. Not that I was ever gonna sell it, because I I love the look of them. They're so cool. 
Um, I think that's it. Just has the Frogger jumping against black background. Reprint. No, I don't like doing reprints. So thanks for hanging out with us today. It was a lot of fun. You want to get in the box on the camera? Come here. There. Got a cat trap. Get in there. He didn't even get in when there were snacks in there. <laughs> no, he didn't. He was very apprehensive. They've, they are strongly associating. Uh, yeah. Who's getting in the box first? Get in the box. Oh, oh, it's a fight. Oh, three paws. Three feet. Oh, Atari's given and up. Victory. And victory for Sprite. Without trees. Oh, <laughs> babies. <laughs> Way to treats. reinforce it. Well, we want to. There you go. There you go. Treats for everyone. Oh, see? Atari, you're missing out on the treats. He's just hoovering them up. So thanks for uh, hanging out with us today. Uh, Vitoko, Ivory Tower Collections, Thomas, Thrust 26, uh, 8-Bit Poet, Carl G, Splendidnut, RC7E, Tamericans, uh, Dan AVC, <laughs> Daryl1970, Atarius Maximus, thank you for making your games, and Thomas for making your awesome game. Uh, Night Boy, first time chatter. Thanks for following. I remember you followed. Uh, did I say Smitty B? Buck Owens. Who else? Who else? I did not say. Same people. There we go. And everybody else who is lurking. Uh, we'll be back on uh, Tuesday. We might do an After Dark of Scuturnia, but there's a lot of time left till the uh, 2024 Lynx High Score Club around two finishes. But we might have some time on the weekend. Probably go see Dune 2. Or Dune 1 Part 2. I have no idea. The Lurkers! Lurkers Unite! Mode, test. <laughs> mode, mod, mod, modes. mode 7 is unavailable. There you go. I figured it out eventually. James, do you have pics of the inside of your 7800? If you do, I need you to send them to me in PM. Oh! Uh... I may have posted them on my repair thread, hardware repair thread, in my cl in the uh, Zero Page Homebrew Club. But if not, I will be taking pictures of them. Oh, my 7800. Oh, I, was, I thought you were talking about my 8-bit. My uh, no, I do not have uh, pictures of the inside. I have not opened it. Uh, oh, no. I did my mods on this, didn't I? Yeah, there's definitely pictures of the inside of this, I think. It may not be an overview. Long story short, all of my 7800s aren't liking movie card, and I'm curious to see what chips you have in the one that works for you. Oh, it's actually better to have a 7800 that doesn't work than a 7800 that works. Because for testing, for something new, like the movie card, because I put it in mine and it works. But it doesn't work in others, so I yeah, can't yeah. provide testing. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it works. I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, yes. Okay, I think it's in... I If there's not pictures... Actually, let me just look it up. We're just blabbing. So it doesn't really matter. Um, where is... We'll take a look. Oh, I can switch back to that. Go to my club, go to ZPH club, and then go to uh, ZPH streaming and hardware updates. Um, we'll scroll through. There's only five pages. Shouldn't take too long. Actually, I can show it on the screen so you guys aren't out of the loop. So I'm pretty sure I documented some of my 7800 maybe not where did I post that no it's not in there come on back to discussion um nope 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 
I'll have to... No, it's not there. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It has its own thread. Let's see how good the um, pictures are. Come on, open it up. There's a very, very, very close up of a spot. That's probably not what you want. There! Perfect. That you should be able to zoom in. Oh, yeah, you can see oh, everything. Oh, yeah, that's, that's really good. <laughs> There's a bit of debris, but uh, yeah, you can see everything you want on this. So I'll uh, let me link the um, the thread to you right here. Oh, sorry, he's watching it right now. There you go. So it's just halfway, a uh, uh, quarter way down the page. You can see everything. I took really good pictures, actually. Yeah. Yes. Good, <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Uh, same NCR CPU as mine. Okay. Um, okay. We're out of here. Uh, I'm really hungry. I need food. Elf needs food badly. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so have a great weekend, everyone. Um, and we'll be back on Tuesday with some more awesome homebrew gaming. So, bye-bye!